It says we are live. Hello, everybody. We're live. We're live. We're live. We're live. We're live. Is back. Look, yes, she there is. she is. Let us know that you can see us so we can know for sure. I see Angela and Vinny. 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 Oh, happy yeah, birthday, lucky. Angela. Every, every, today's Angela's birthday. I see Susie. Happy birthday. birthday. Jennifer Lab Mama. Jennifer Lab Mama. Oh, my God. The delay is real today. Is it? Oh, I just, just came on. Hi, Pamela and Deanna. Ivy Bellet. and Colbert. Amy Oates. All right. So, apparently, the lab oh is very bad. <sighs> There's Which, Linda. It's just another day in YouTube land. Well, mm. welcome, welcome, welcome to our weekly recelebration, which is a great name. But I'm wanting to think of a of a bit of a different. Be thinking of a name for our week. We should channel. maybe have a contest. Oh, we should have a contest. So be sending, leave a comment in this video of what you would like for maybe our, the, what we should title this weekly sale that we have. Um, because I want it to be something fun. And it just kind of rolls off the tongue. You're like, Dr. Dunker Vintage Hunter. <laughs> yeah. That's, yeah. And it ain't going to be like three chicks and a dude. Not like that. Yeah. So oh, the Fab so Four, I mean, I like that, but that might, some people may not like that. And also we might get like a copyright strike. Maybe. <laughs> <We're not laughs> the Beatles? I mean, I get a little band about that. I don't know. I get, I get, who? I get to be Ringo. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. I'll be Ringo. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we have lots of cool things that we're going to show for you. The way that this works is each of us will show an item and everything has a number on it. The first person to type in that number in the chat will be able to purchase that item. You will need to send us each an email. Um, I will be scrolling all of our emails in the, in the scroll when that person is on, um, but the email addresses are all in the description after the video is over. Um, we do ask that you send us your information right now. Do it right now. I'll give you our emails. As soon as I give you our emails, you send us your information. Um, if you've not purchased from us before um, to pre-register, so that's always helpful. The chapter co cult cozy hunter sale. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that doesn't necessarily roll off the tongue, though, Jamie. Oh, it rolls off of something. <laughs> Needful things. And into something. Keep them coming. I, I, I want. I want to come up with. I want you. I know that you guys are so creative. You'll be able to do this. Now we are also. We all each have some offer ups, and so the way the way that those work is, I will hold up an item. There will not be a time limit, but we will be. You know it. Each of us will be kind of monitoring and making sure that, um, you know, we're we're getting the offer ups and the person that has the highest offer. After everyone types in out, listen, that, that's the thing that's very important, I want to say, is during the offer ups is if you, you're done, like you don't want to spend any more than that. It, it's it's too much that you don't want you don't want to to pay that much. If you would just in all capitals type in out, that really, really helps the offer ups go a lot faster. So I understand like you might leave the room or whatever, but if you can make sure that you type out. Um, am I leaving anything out? Um, well, I have a little something to add. Um, and that is that we are trying to, um, and we understand that uh, some of us may be chattier than others <laughs> but um we're trying to keep our sale at a reasonable amount of time so in doing that that includes the chat running smoothly the chat not getting clogged up with unnecessary things our chat in our sale should be related to the items that we're selling 
and anything regarding the four of us. So can we try to keep it as such? <laughs> yeah, now, well, you might be talking about my sale. Oh, Virginia. That's goal for my sale. Because you all know that my sale is like, well, we'll just see. And yeah. also, while I have the floor, I just want to thank everybody. Um, I have gotten so many emails, messages, everything. Um, and this last week has not been an easy one. And um, a lot of you, a lot of people know what happened. And a lot of people are just thinking that I'm wore out from doing sales. I am not wore out. It was a personal thing, um, a, a tragedy within my um, personal life. And I will just kind of leave it at that and just say that I have, um, we're, we're, we're um, past the, we're over to the hump, so to speak. Um, and every day should be easier. And uh, I, I am back to work. And uh, let's just uh, get back to um, having fun, saying dirty jokes, and laughing. <laughs> Not too dirty now. No. Dirty enough for, you know, to get away with, but clean enough for YouTube. Right. Right, right, right. PG-13. Right. PG-13. I mean, Remember, we're in mixed company. We're in public. You know, I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I guess we'll go ahead and, and get started. Like I said, shit, well, I didn't say this, say this, but shipping is an additional fee. So you will have to email each of us. I am shipping out of Indiana. Alex is shipping out of Florida. Michael is shipping out of Pennsylvania. And Michelle is, slip, is, is slipping. She's slipping out of <laughs> Wisconsin, not West. I am because it's so freaking snowy. Hello. Right. I'm going to slip slide away. She's going to slip slide away. Okay, so let's go ahead and let me change it up here to. Here we go. And I'm. we're going to start with Alex first. Me? Heck yeah. Okay. Here you go. All right. It's over here. One second. Ooh. Calm down, Hillary. You guys are all max, but I had to have some earrings on. You can't tell, can you? <laughs> Okay, the first item I have <laughs> is this really cool. Oh, Gumpy, where are you going? Don't leave me. <laughs> he says, oh, all this crap in my way. <laughs> I have, oh, I'm trying to hold them all at the same time. This pretty pastel Ooh. set of Homer Laughlin like restaurant wear <laughs> mugs. I thought they would be so pretty for spring. Wait, there's the camera. There we go. Those are so good. So, you know, you stack them up or something like that and you're in your displays or in your kitchen, you can actually use them. Um, there's no chips or cracks or anything. I just, let me show you the bottom. That's the Homer Laughlin stuff and the insides are good. This set of four is $25 and it's number one. You live that golden girl life. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Like they would also match with people that collect Lou Ray. I think that that set would go well with that. I do too. I see Lee Bauman. Oh, Bauman. I see it. I see it now too. All right. Thank you, Miss Lee. That's um, like I said, number one, twenty-five dollars, and you can move on. I'll write it down. Thank you. <laughs> and you can move on. <laughs> oh, hey, hey, well, hang on a minute, John and Marianne. So yes, when we are doing an offer up. Uh, we ask that you that the, that there isn't a lot of chat unless you are doing the offers. It just makes it go by a lot quicker. So if we can just try to do that, that would be helpful. All right, that's a good idea. Good idea, John and Marianne. Okay. Oh, hi, Yvonne. Yvonne Gravit. She's. I just want. I'm sorry. I know I'm stalling, but Yvonne's always so. <laughs> she's always just. She's our cheerleader. Wanted to say hi. Okay, and let's do Michelle next. Get it. What you got, Michelle? Well, you know, I had to bring the bow home. Oh, I love that. Look at those colors. Mm-hmm. I was gonna so, say Michelle brings the hoe into boho, but that's you know I do. <laughs> so this thing, I mean, I was a little bit inspired by yesterday. I was kind of preparing and stuff, and 
Um, I knew we were getting this snow, which all I see out the window is whiteness. And so I was very inspired by winter and all that, which is rare for me, but let's just roll with it. So I, I saw this in my stuff and I was like, this can be a mm -hmm. little mm -hmm. oh. Yeah. Yeah. And imagine if it was on something tiny, someone tiny, not like me. You would really wrap your body up in this. <laughs> it is, yes, I did measure 36 by about 75 inches. Um, I don't know about that 75, but yeah, that might be right. I don't know. Because it's kind of got a little um, stretchy to it. So it could be a scarf. It could be a throw. And it could be, you know what, a dresser scarf, like yeah. a table runner. This is the color. You could also drape it over a curtain rod and make it like a valance. Oh. Yes. yes. Or put it over your the back of your couch just yeah. to give you some interest. Because it's like about the right. It's length. my purpose. Yes, it really is. Matter of fact, I have my Michael. I call it my Michael Afghan. My oh, Michael yeah. Afghan is on the back of my uh, couch, except my couch is leather, so it keeps me slip on it. <laughs> so I'm going to wedge it. Oh, it drives me crazy, but I love it. Except M Bella chewed a hole in it. Anyway, um, this is uh, going to be $15. And yes, look at these colors, by the way. It's all boho colors. And it's got a little glistening shine to it. $15, number 34. Number 34. That is great for spring. That is. There's a bit of a lag, so there might be yeah. a moment of silence because the lag is in the chat. <laughs> All right. I see Mickey and Michelle. Oh, oh no, 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 no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Nope. I see oh, Side Street side Market. Street. Oh. oh, yeah. It's a, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I see two. It, other was, people. it was nothing. And Christine. then all of a sudden, boom, boom, boom. It boom, was. Boom. Christine at Side Street, right? That's who I see. Oh, thanks, well, Christine. Melissa, they're not laws. We're just trying to no, no, no. for everybody, but Melissa's our other cheerleader. We no, love don't her. take it that way, Melissa. We don't mean like to zip it completely. We just, it's just a, um, there's chatting and then there's, well, what have you done for the last three weeks? And what are you doing for the next week? Hey, um, and I'm going to, I'm planning on doing an, a, a live chat Yeah. at some point. So, all right. Oh, I guess it's my turn. No, it's Michael's turn. Oh, okay. I'm going to start with an offer up. Michael only has three <laughs> offer up. We're going to start with a bang. We're going to start with a surprise item. Are we ready? Um, we're going to start this ready. offer. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. 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 <laughs> it is not Santa Claus. Oh. Um, <laughs> I'm sitting here trying to write the order of the names, and I go to write Misty, and I I wrote an S. I started to write. Santa. <laughs> you started to write what? Santa, because Misty said, or Michael says uh, Santa Claus. So I went to go write Misty's name, and I started, I started to write Santa. <laughs> oh Lord! Oh Jesus! I do that all the time. All right, I'm gonna start this off. This offer up. At thirty-five dollars. What is it? What is it? What is it? Oh, thirty-five dollars. Oh. I felt like it. I felt like it. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. It is a wreath. It is a mini wreath. So it's ten inches. This, of course, is on a foam core. It is back in the white felt. Aside from those two things, everything, including this tinsel, is vintage. So we'll start at 35 and we'll see how it goes. Boop, 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 doo, doo. There is it is for you. Start. Oh, I will. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm I'm sorry. I'm looking at it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's see how what we do. There. All right. So a we've deer? got a rain a flocked reindeer, a glass bear or cat or animal holding a heart. We, of course, have vintage florals. We do have your vintage glass ornaments. You do have your, I don't know what shape you would call this. You've oh. got red flock deer. There is a poinsettia brooch here from little Miss Michelle there. 
you do have, now this is an older ornament, oh, so it is a little thinner. I, I filled this with hot glue to make sure that he was more structurally sound. He is, again, this is a great example. This was broken, his tail. Mm -hmm. So I was like, you know what? You're not gonna get thrown out. You're, you're not adorable. broken. You I see Diane, Diane's at 42. More vintage florals, little star here. The tinsel on this, of course, is vintage. This came from Pamela's live sale. Randy sent it to me. Thank you, Randy. So there's your sides. This is that good tinsel, too. Remember, if you are out, uh, you can type in out. Peggy Hall is at $43. Okay, Blue Flamingo. Hi, Lori. She's at $45. Once we get to $50, we're going to go in $5 increments. Peggy's at 46. I love him. I mean, a yes, duck. I love him. Why not? Diane's at 47. So this is, I think this, you know, no shade intended, but the color scheme is definitely, mm -hmm. I think, a little bit more sophisticated. I think of this as like, you know, your 1800s kind of color scheme. All right. So we're at 50. We're going to go. If you want to bid, next bid's at 55 and we'll go from there. Okay, Peggy Hall is out. So 55 is the next bid. Yeah, that so duck is just, it's adorable. This little thing on his beak on his belly. So yes, the entirety of it is finished. Okay, so uh, Peggy's out. So I'm going to okay. start. We're gonna go. Sarah, Melanie's got it at 50. It's $50 going once. $50 going twice and sold $50 to Serendipity by Melanie. Yep. Sold $50 to Serendipity. Oh, okay. Even my thing is delayed. So here. Sold. 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 Thank you, Melanie. <laughs> she said. Oh, so I wanted to say too. Oh, go ahead. Well, I wanted to say too that um, it, I'm having a live sale tomorrow. So at one o'clock. Um, so if you get something from me today, you will not get invoiced until Thursday. Thursday and Friday um, is when I'll be doing the shipping, probably Thursday. I'll probably have it most of it done by Thursday, but you, so you send me your information. You will not get an invoice until my live sale is over tomorrow. Also, if you've sent me an email regarding some of the things from my haul videos, um, I'm working on those invoices as well. I know that Alex is, will be sending out invoices tomorrow from her sale that she had on Sunday and today's sale. So if you bought something from her on Sunday, be expecting an invoice tomorrow right. uh, for that. Michelle having her sale on Thursday. And so she's going to be combining shipping as well. So you basically won't get any invoices from us until starting tomorrow with Alex. And then Thursday, me. Friday, Michelle. Okay. <laughs> Does that yeah. make any sense? Okay. Well, my first item is going to be this dare. And I never say this right. Is it dare? Dar. Or? I say dar. 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 Ten. I, um, I like I mean, it. It's red and it's got this floral design on it. I love it for Valentine's Day. It is marked designed by dar, Long Island, New York. Container made in England. It does open up nice. I don't know. I thought it was really nice for Valentine's Day display. This is $16 and it's number 23. $16 number 23. Hi, Thrift You. All right. I see Cindy B. Thank you, Cindy. Back to me. Oh, you're going to stop ringing now? Oh, I got to get Melanie's thing. Hang on. Let me write Cindy B down. Okay. 
I didn't take Melanie's thing off. <laughs> and now I got to find you, Melanie. Melanie, girl, you got to buy everything for $50 now. <laughs> <laughs> Why did, uh, shh, I'm quiet, quiet, I'm hunting treasures, thinks she's in trouble. You guys, we're not trying to say that you can't chat. Go ahead and chat. It just, let's put it this way. Let's let's try to keep it light, okay? Let's try to keep it light and positive. Hmm. All right. Well, I'm not trying to say anybody's in trouble. <laughs> no, well, no but people think they are. So, nope. Yeah. Not with me. Not unless you want to be in trouble. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. The next thing I have is this beautiful little recipe box but the best oh, part about it is that it actually has all the original or not original recipes but the this woman's wow. kitchen life of recipes and they're all there's no handwritten ones but they're all typed out and some of them are so cute the way she has them like she'll say that like um her grandma made it or her grandma like called it x y and z or whatever like this one it whatever however you pronounce that and it says like in parentheses old as the hills <laughs> oh she so, put that typewriter yeah I love that. exactly they're oh. all typed out um that's what someone i don't want someone to put type that if i give someone a recipe they put old as the hills <laughs> <laughs> So like but I like one. it when they're typed, and then they have little notes on the side with their pen. Like they'll say, "Like that's the recipe they had," but then they'll be like, "Too much, cut back the salt, or too yeah. much, cut back the butter." You know. This says Aunt Jane's boiled raisin cake, and then she makes a notation saying that it's magnificent. Ooh! Oh. I know. I was like, "Do I really want to get rid of these? I can actually have some interesting." You know what Tarnished Treasures always did? She made copies of a lot of them. Oh, oh that's there you a good go. idea. Mm -hmm. Like whatever ones you would like. I was trying to find the interesting one earlier. But anyways. Um, yeah, you mean you don't like boiled raisin cake? <laughs> that can't. This is going to start at $15 if you guys mm. want to make offers on it. But I'll go ahead and just like tell you why you guys are doing that. Um, there's uh, the little category she has are biscuits. Oleo. <laughs> uh, cake. Cake filling, candy, cookies, frosting. Uh, you got me kind of at 20. These are all my favorite food groups. I know. Meat. Oleo. And relish. I know. I saw that. I was like, Oleo. There is something Remember? called watermelon pickle in here. What? Ooh. Yeah. Preserved. Oh, you probably pickle pickled watermelon. I think you can pickle watermelon. I need a watermelon pickle. Salad. Salad dressing, sandwiches, seafoods, sauces, soup, and miscellaneous. But there is a lot in here. Like frosting. Hold on. Is it frosting? Look, they have. She's got chocolate fudge. Yum. Chocolate fudge. Maple divinity fudge. I can't even pronounce that. Oh, uh, Pralines. Pickled watermelon rind. That's what it. Pop yep. Burns got it. Yeah. Ye old toll house cookies. Okay, uh Rebecca Oods at 35. That's All right, guys. To be. When you're out. Um bachelor. I'm surprised the bat uh, the birthday girl isn't going for it. I thought she wanted a recipe box. German crisps, ginger creams, mm, yum. Ginger fruit cake. Um Oh, Alex's about to make my stomach rumble. I can feel. I mean, right? Uh, Christmas cookies. Susan is at thirty-seven dollars for us. Okay. Orange cookies, sand tarts, Scandinavian holiday cookies, Ooh. and then in parentheses, she won a blue ribbon. Well, Ooh. I think Alex should make like four different ones okay and then send us each like a variety of the you know and we could sample them on next week's sale yeah. and tell everybody how delicious they were alex is like uh yeah that's not gonna happen <laughs> that's a great idea <laughs> so i nope. see rebecca is at 38 dollars we got angie saying she's out 
Okay, Angie's out. Hi, Randy girl. There's oh, candy a dish apple pie, okay. old fashioned blueberry spoon pie, Ooh. pumpkin custard pie, cranberry pie, crisp right. rhubarb pie, yum, custard pie. All right, let's start counting it down. I, I see Rebecca. Rebecca is 38. Mm. Go Rebecca. Rebecca is 38. Going once. 38. Now, Alex, is that a metal recipe box? Yes, ma'am. 38 going twice. It's Ohio art. It's Ohio art. Oh, Susan oh. Frank, 39. Oh. I Susan. mean, it, it's not the crazy, beautiest, bestest box in the world, but it's those recipes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's, that's where Susan, it is. Susan's at 39. Also, those are good for junk journaling. The recipes? That's a, yeah. a in the index card. Okay, yep. so, so Becca's Susan's out. At 39, so $39 going once. $39 going twice and sold $39 to Susan Frank. All right. Um, so the aging beginner, aging beginner just said rhubarb custard pie is my specialty. Everyone loves it. And I know she's in Wisconsin somewhere. So, um, aging beginner, just let me know. I'll get you my address. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, um, my next item is this lovely Kate Spade purse. Kate Spade. Yeah, uh huh. I'm fancy. I'm fancy. I'm so fancy. So um, it's wool. Mm -hmm. It has this um little snap opening. Okay, but when you like when you snap it closed, it has this like that goes over it, you know. So when you snap it, you, then it's open to the bag. The bag is I don't want to say uh, vinyl, but um, it's what's that? It's like a some kind of form of vinyl <laughs> on the inside. There you go. You can clean it easier. What's that? You can clean it easier that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It definitely you could wipe it down with a damp cloth. Um, now there are some wear marks, but also let me show that it does have feet, which is a good thing, you know, on purses. So um, there are wear marks on some of the corners, and then on um, like right, like on a, a little bit on the corners, and then a little bit on the handle. But it is a lovely winter purse. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's really nice. And I mean, Kate Spade, people. And is it I'm, black or navy, Michelle? What's that? Is it black or navy? It. Oh, I'm sorry. It's like a black wool. So, it, and then it, it's this is like an off white stripe. So it, it's it's really almost like a dark gray or black. a light black. Does that make sense? Yeah, that's what it kind of comes across on here. Yeah, like a charcoal. Are you doing it as an offer up? They're, no, I'm not. Well, there's they're selling on Poshmark. Someone said for about a hundred dollars. Well, so. the one on Poshmark is a bigger one, I believe. It, it has, if you look just by looking, see how this one has like two rows of stripes or three. You might be looking at the bigger bag, girl. I mean, I'll do an offer up if you all want me to. Ms. They want you to show the wear. Share the wear again. Oh, okay. So yeah, I got in the corner right th uh, there. Michelle, do you want to do an offer up on it? I can, sure. And then... Um, we can start that. Price. Price. So I was going to charge 28 So right. I guess I would want to start the offer up. Right. At we're starting at $28. I mean, I know, but I like a woman in a gray or a black wool pencil skirt with that purse, and mm -hmm. she got like her coat on. 
yeah. you know that woman is there for some business. It's, it's, it's a classic. And it even it gets over your shoulder if you, because you know some people like to keep that bag close to their body. You know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We have Mariah at $30. Yeah, but that bag definitely will never go out of style. I mean, it's... It's a classic, right? Mm -hmm. It is. Plaid, but not a busy plaid. Not like a... This is not one of those trendy plaids. No. Because some of those trendy plaids, they're very loud, and you'll remember that bag. But this bag, the bag just kind of goes with you, yes. This is like you go to church, you go to business. You go, <laughs> this stuff's with your jeans, even. It's this goes with it all, and you will look classy. All right, Mich or, uh, Mariah is at $30. So thirty dollars going. Oh no! Oh. no now Ms. Chantel's at thirty-two. Yeah, it's a really cute bag. I feel like it is cute. It like it. It's comfortable to hold it, and it's comfortable to like put it over your arm, or it's comfortable even to put it like over your shoulder. Like I said, a smaller girl would have a really easy time putting it over her shoulder. <laughs> So, uh, Chan, uh, Chan Chanel, Chanel, Chanel. 42. All right. $32 going once. $32 going twice. Oh, it's called a window pane check. Thank you. I didn't, I knew it wasn't like a flag, but I didn't know. Sold for $32. All right. Thank you. And, you know, I just want to say you will sometimes have to use like a um, lint roller on this because it sheds just look because it's that wool, you know, and it gets that little bit of fuzzy sometimes. That's all. Thank you. All right. So the next item I have, I tried for the life of me to find out exactly what this process was called and I could not find it. These are a, let's try to do this. This is a They're wooden drumsticks. candle. They're drumsticks. You totally could do that. For Ringo. You know? For me, Ringo. Mm -hmm. Oh, I just love them. You want to keep it fancy, live your life. <laughs> but it is a taper. It's a faux yeah, taper candle. Um, they do have what would have been like a fabric wick on them. They've seen better days. But it is a wooden taper candle. And the closest that I can get to calling it is it's like a sugaring on the actual candle itself. I just love them. So there is some wear to them. Like on this one, you're going to see what makes them so through. charming. It, it, I it, agree. They're very folk art folk yeah. art esque. I'm not going to lie. I was considering yeah. keeping these, but I, they just didn't work in my in my candle holders. These candles are 15 and a half inches long. Those like they're not long. little bitties. They're a yeah. big candle, but it does have that red poppy on it. So you could, you know, I think you could get it into an Art Nouveau kind of look. That's are you putting a I price on them or are you offering them all? No. Oh, they're going to be $20. Again, it's a wooden candle that is, like I said, I'm going to call it sugaring. Um, they're $20 and it's going to be number 15, 15 and a half inches long. So this is going to be a statement. Beautiful though. Those are really, I've never seen anything like that before. Oh, Joelle Madel. Oh, 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 no, I, I see Helen, Helen Casey. Helen. Oh, you do? Yep. Oh. They're beautiful. I see Joelle. I'm going to refresh. Ooh. I just got out of the video and went back in, and I see Joelle. Yeah, I see Joelle. Well, what do you all? Well, I'll try. Blue, blue. Oh, what did I say? It was fifteen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, see, I see Helen Casey, and then I see Joelle. What? Is, okay, everybody's seeing Joelle. Yeah. Yeah. Joelle. So okay. You might both of you, you and Missy, if you guys tried to go out and re Missy really can't because she. I, can. I did. I refreshed on my posting. I saw so Joelle both times. All okay. right. You we are to well. winner, I just happened to do it to catch myself up because my I was kind of lagging, and then your thing came through, and it was Joelle. 
All right. All righty, Joelle. Thanks, Congratulations. Guys. Thank you. They're yeah, awesome. You are in line. Oh, really? Yeah, oh, no, sorry, Michael. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. I forgot. Mom, put it back on me. Angel um, Birdie said, Mom. Oh, no. I forgot. Put it back on me. Angel Birdie said, Mom. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hang on, guys. I was turning on my phone to, je okay. to check, and I started my. Okay. <laughs> back. Sorry for the in interruption. Um, it, I, I'm going to do my first offer up. Yeah. And I have a set of five of these vintage Valentines. These are all um, either by stole or they're all made in the USA. You get five of them and all five of them are the honeycomb. Oh, oh. oh God. So, this one's dated 1933, and they're mm. and they have the little stands. They are made by Bystol, so you get. And so, um, can somebody type in start? I'm, and, I'm okay, getting ready to right now. All right, so I'm going to start the offer at uh, twenty dollars for. You'll get all five of them. So I'm going to go ahead and start it at twenty dollars. So there's this one, and these are not these are not signed. They are not signed. Oh, those are, I've never Yvonne seen the 25 cards, the little honeycomb. You always this, see that like it's a big decoration. Right. This one is signed. It says it's from Lita. Go ahead, Lita. See the, yeah. little, see the little person, the little angel. Color. Look at the little girl behind the dove, her little cheeks. And then this one is my love is true sweetheart for you. This one's also by Jeans at 30. Okay. Go ahead, Michael. You can do it. Okay. This you one's my favorite. favorite. I peeped through the gate, dear Valentine, and saw your heart. Will you be mine? Aww. Shirley Pearl, 32. Look at Cupid. <laughs> this one is not signed. So only one of them is signed, and you will get all five of them. Yvonne's at 33. And the three, yeah, three of them still have their little um, stands. Let us know if you guys are out. They are made in the USA. Love's token. God. There's nothing like the that faded red on those vintage I Valentine's. Know. Oh, I love it. <laughs> so Shirley is out. So we've got Yvonne active at 33. And I think... This one's 1932 be. is what it says. Valentine greetings. Now, I have to say, I will have a couple more lots of Valentines tomorrow at my sale, and then that's all I've got. So. Cindy at 34. Oh. Okay, oh, so now we're between now. Yvonne and Cindy. Yep. So you'll get all five of them. This one's my favorite. I love this one. The little 35 to Yvonne. And these are all made in the USA. Tomorrow I'll have some German honeycomb ones. These are all Bystol made in the USA. 36, Cindy. Oh, look, she's got a little key cat. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie, it's 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 a uh, um Penny. It's Penny. <laughs> Okay, Yvonne's at 37. What is this little? And this one has flowers. Because they're kind of hiding. What does this one have? Look at that. He's a little boy. There's a little boy. All right. So we're so at. We're still between. Okay, so Cindy's out. So we've got Yvonne at 37. I think you can start going. Okay, so 37 once. going once. 37 going twice. Sold to Yvonne for $37. Thank you, Yvonne. Hey. Write your name down before I forget. Right. All right. Thank you, Yvonne. 
All right, now we're going back to Alex. Hi. I have my my I have like a a theme, pastel springy theme in my sale today. I had the pastel mugs. This isn't very pastel, but it's still springy colors. And now I bring you this made in Thailand, so it's a tad vintage. This acrylic frame. <clears throat> With oh. all the flowers on the inside. Um, oh. This here is probably like maybe three by three, four by four. On the outside, it's probably like maybe six by six. But it's a thick acrylic frame with all the... I don't think those are... Those are like fake flowers, you see? Fake mm -hmm. flowers. But still really pretty. It says Made in Thailand on the back there. So maybe like late 90s, early 2000s. Yeah. Something like that. Um, but I still thought it was really pretty because it was in that oh. big, chunky, like, acrylic, yeah. you know? So this one is $18, and it's number seven. $18, number seven. Mm -hmm. The chat is so delayed. Yeah, it really is. is. I mean, Aaron's with us. Hello, Hi, Aaron. Aaron. All right. We will come back to it. Yeah, that's fine. Go ahead. Move on. All right. So you're going spring and I'm all winter. <laughs> I am all winter today. <laughs> so you I can have... tell where we live in the country. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, <laughs> because... like, it's winter. Alex there is like, no, no spring is here. <laughs> there ain't nothing springing out here. Let's <laughs> see that. Yeah. So this is a different kind of wreath, and I actually should have measured it, and I didn't. So I will do that real quick. Um, it is uh, about 12 inches in diameter. Well, it's probably about 11, between 11 and 12 inches in diameter. It's basically on a metal ring okay so there's a little heft to it and then these wire wire beads are all strung mm. around and it's that's just very, very that's very spring because that would be like my easter stuff like <laughs> i would like do colors like that because i like victorian easter mm -hmm. see and that's just it you can make what you whatever yeah. you want of it because like here it's just like got that and i think michael can relate it's got that icy mm -hmm. silvery icy kind of look mm -hmm. to it mm -hmm. but so, yeah it definitely would go with i mean like a if somebody had all white like a shabby chic or mm -hmm. whatever you know like a all white then this would definitely go right. if somebody was doing like what you're saying eastery like pastels it would add it, that glimmer so yeah, and um, it's uh, just you know this this the whole way around. I like it by itself. Yeah, yeah, I love it. I I mean, you can change it up for all four seasons. I mean, you mm -hmm. can you know, because like I I I see that hanging like if someone has a vintage window hanging up. You know how people will will do those salvaged windows. Yeah, and you can hang yeah. that, and then you can you know bring the 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 decor the uh seasons around that yeah and especially because there's so much space in between like you can definitely you know add to it or do whatever you could right. take this bow off this is just like a a gray like bow silvery gray but i mean to make it work with whatever somebody's going with um or you could even use it like down and then put like one of those big three wick candles Mm -hmm. those, I don't know if they still make those big chunky ones, but you know, like that party light used to make, I think. So yeah, this is going to be uh, $25 and it's number 31. $25, number 31. Yeah, see how big it is? It's my head. Mm -hmm. So Alex, you see Nettie? Yep, writing it down. Thank you, Nettie. And Michelle, that was thirty number 31, right? Yes, yep. $25, $25 number 31. I see Shirley uh, Pearl. Pearl. Well, thank you, Miss Pearl. Oh, I guess it's Michael's turn. See, I, I like, I get so lost. I'm so lost <laughs> doing other things. I have a hard time doing more than one thing at a time. 
Yeah, and can I just preface it too by saying nobody's in trouble. Nobody wants anybody not to talk. It's yeah. it, honestly, we want to have a streamlined sale. We want to make, we're trying to have a better sale for you guys. It's to try to benefit you guys. So that way you're not like, oh my God, shut up and just show the next item. Right. Bottom line. <laughs> and what happens is sometimes we'll get caught up in the chat. And the next thing we know, it's 15 minutes between the last item shown and the next item shown. And everybody has got a life to live. And we're not trying to tie you guys up. So that's all that it is. It's not that we don't want you guys to be in community with one another, to talk right. to one another. It really is to try to give you as best of a sale that we can possibly give you and there's four of us so we get caught up in the chat we get caught up talking to one another we get caught up doing this exactly what i'm doing right now <laughs> <laughs> we love you all oh 100 yes. yeah, yeah. yeah i mean we wouldn't be here if it weren't for you guys so trust us this is not a, a go to the corner moment no mm -hmm. yeah angel are you watching just... what platform i'm using right now it's Streamyard. See? I get distracted in the chat. That we do. So up next, I have um, some anthropomorphic <gasps> salt and pepper <gasps> shaker. Sure, <laughs> no. Yeah, we do. Now look, I'm going to pass along this deal. Um, it's going to be $15. I'm going to put that right out there to you. It is a mismatched pair of salt and pepper shakers, but I found them together. Here they are. Oh, look at that. I don't, you know, I found They're them together, great. so I want to sell them That's together. Cool. I, think, I think it's two. I think the dog is Toodles. It's a the left. Dog, yeah. yeah, it's totally. It's to, I know that it's mismatched. I felt like that too. Yeah, but think of it this way: you're not getting salt and pepper shakers. You're getting two figurines. Figurines. For one of them. There you right. go. Mm -hmm. well, That's exactly. Two people. Now, I only price them at $15 for one specific reason, because I, I'm kind of like putting in the dog almost like a free item. And I'm considering you're paying $15. Well, thank you, Maria. <laughs> um, uh, that you're purchasing the swan or the duck. I don't know what this is. This bird, a, this waterfowl. It's adorable. That's because what it is. The dog did have a black nose, but it got chipped off. This poor thing has has lived a life. She's mm. got a lot of chipping. I think I want to say that it left in toodles. Yeah, I agree, Misty. Yeah, I'm gonna double check. I mean, again, do you, see you know what I'm who saying? would know? Sugar britches here. She would know. This, Wasn't she I mean, looking for toodles? No, it is. It is, and it there was. It is left in toodles. Yeah, it definitely. But again, I found them together. They've lived a life together. I don't want to separate They're them. They're buddies. They are. Yes. Now the so duck, the bird, is in excellent shape. There's no chips or cracks to the bird. This one is marked Japan. This one does have its quirk. The dog does not. Again, I just. It's um, like Babe the pig. So it's right? going to be fifteen dollars for the set. Oh. Keeping in mind the dog does have, in my opinion, some substantial damage, mostly to the back and to the nose. Fifteen dollars. It's going to be number sixteen for the set. So cute. So cute. I love the ducks one. I, I just can't even decide which one I like more. They're both such so freaking cute. Oh. I was more attracted to the bird. The next I one is so a curious cat. Curious cat. Thank y'all. I it's almost girl. like an elegant uh, rubber duck. Yeah, or not like what are those ducks in the fair where you try to pick up a duck and get the number on the bottom for the prize? The rubber ducky. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's like almost like an elegant duck, rubber ducky. <laughs> Super cute. All right. I have a book. Ooh. Oh, cool. I have a couple of books. This one is not an offer up, this one's just. A, a straight up price, but this is, I love the graphics on the front of this because I really like to look, I like to look at the graphics on the front. This probably did not have a dust jacket because it is a school book. And, but look at the little girl on the front. Mm -hmm. um, she is, is, this is the easy road to reading first reader. It is copyright 1925, uh. but I wanted to show you, um, some of the, the graphics on the inside of this are great, but look, here is these, they all, they are, there's also pixies in this one. Now it's not uh -huh. like 
full pixies like the other one, but it's pixies. But look at the pixies in here. Oh my god. Oh. The green or they're brownies. Oh they're called brownies, but they're they're pixies to us. And then we've got the the yellow brownies. Oh my gosh. And look at my um, best friend from high school is a well, she's a reading teacher, she's a librarian, she's all she's like Got her master's and all, whatever. I don't even know, but oh god, she would love something like that. But I love, I love the graphics in here. Um, but there, it's just, it's a story reader. Yes, I mean Prixies, Tammy. You are correct. The mm -hmm. little pig's house, um, <laughs> the crow and the fox. So it's just a children's reader story. So this book, it's plain on the back. This book is. Uh, $18, and it is number 28. Ah, I 28. I win. <laughs> <laughs> for a few, she would probably win that for her mom. $18? That is $18. a steal. Ugh. I mean, seriously, if nobody gets that, I want that. Dang it. I, got it. <laughs> I already said that, Michelle. Forget it. Okay, oh, so Kathy W., you. is that who you see? <laughs> Yeah. I see Kathy W. Yep, Kathy. Now, listen, I have a lot of these these types of books that I will be doing. Wait till you see the next, the one I'm going to do as an offer up today. Oh, um, that's all I'm are saying. Are you doing them individually or as a set? I'm going to do them as a set. Oh. <laughs> they belong together. Thank Michael, you, you better, Kathy. You better make sure you got the one person bidding for you. Y'all lucky I ain't in that chat because... Uh-uh. It wouldn't. I uh, uh, uh Guns blazing for them. I wanted them wooden candles, so whatever. <laughs> All right. I have another offer up. Miss I got my Lucite to look at. Mm -hmm. I have. <gasps> oh, oh, oh! Someone shot him with like a BB gun or something. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a third eye. He's all yes. seen. Oh, oh. <laughs> I collect these, Alex. Oh, oh, the rattles. And this one's a squeaker. Oh, no. Alex, so, you're supposed to show me these things. <laughs> How do you think I feel about the books, Missy? How do you think I feel? <sighs> okay. <laughs> I love those so I know, much. They're so cute. Um, these are going to be an offer up. So they're going to start at um where is it on here 25 dollars for the lot oh excellent so i will talk about them as you guys see them obviously you see these two He's probably some little, little boy had like a, playing a little flute some he had something going on with his noggin someone got but, sick listening to him playing that flute yeah, yeah. So, shannon at 25 this one's a little bigger of course they Ooh. both rattle. Nope, nope. Shannon's a twenty-five first. Um, now, Laura, is that twenty-seven on the back that I can't really see. It's like a, it's a circle, and it has like a banner going through it, and some letters <laughs> for these. <laughs> and then, Auntie said, <laughs> "Oh, my husband's nightmare is first at 30. And then the back of this guy, like they have paint wear. You can see they have paint wear. This guy needs to be cleaned up a little bit. He's got some." gunky stuff in his ears. I'll wipe them off with my Lysol wipes, but if you really want to clean all the stuff out of them, I'll leave that to you. But it's marked I-R-W-I- Oh, Ir Irwin. Hmm. This one's marked Irwin. Yeah. Well, what this bidding is say, awful. Um, the, the, <laughs> <laughs> Holy the hole is for his glasses. Yeah. Oh, was it? Shirley's at 37. Yeah. Might have oh. been. Wow. Yeah, Irwin, one of these. Irwin are the Ir Ir I love the Ir Irwins. Shirley Pearl's at 37. I've never had any of these, so I don't know. I've never even seen them in person. This was the first time I saw them. So Shirley Pearl is at 37. I see a lot of people typing out. <laughs> okay. So $37 is the price to beat. So I'll give you a second before I start counting down. I think we, Melanie so, was still active. Right. 
So, yeah, we see you, Melanie, but Shirley had $37 oh, first. Oh, curated that 38 We got a new player. <laughs> Husband's Nightmares, that's what Shirley Pearl said, 39 I think Cozy Curated is Abby, isn't it? Yes. Oh, Lord. Ooh. Cozy Curated Cottage is at 40 Serendipity by Melanie is at 42. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're good. Shirley's at 43. He's got it. I, I was like, oh, he's got a football. Alex, that's an Easter egg. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Here's the bag. There's the squeaker thing. Is the squeaker marked? Um, yeah, it has it says patent number something something. But on the back of his neck it says Irwin. Yeah, I love those herb ones. And then this guy's probably like eight inches tall, and this one's maybe like five. Serendipity by Melanie is at 44. Shirley is out. The bids are all coming in at once, too, which is crazy. Cozy Curated Cottage is at 45. Oh, and this guy, he's marked on his tush right there. He's got his label there. And this guy's marked on his back. Serendipity by Melanie is at forty six dollars. So forty six dollars is the price to. Oh, they're both they're both Irwins. And yeah, I I forgot it. it. Serendipity right. got it. Yep. Yeah. So Serendipity by Melanie at forty six dollars. Going once. Going twice. And sold. Okay. Thank you so much. Again, that is um, number three, Serendipity by Melanie. That is number three. Thank you so much. Okay, my next item is going to be an offer of... Ooh. Yes. This is my uh, Pyrex pink and white stripe. It's the number 401. Let me show you that. It's the one and a half pint. Let me see if I can get the right. It's going to be hard to see that because I got a heck of a glare going on here. There you see the Pyrex. There you can, I think, see the one and a half pint 401. Misty, do you see the chat? S Melanie, no, you do not have to do that. What? Oh, yes. What happened? She wants me to bill her and send them to Misty. That's sweet. Melanie, you are so sweet, but you do not have to do that. I appreciate it so much. I do love those things, but you do not have to do that. Well, the shipping will be cheaper. Right. <laughs> so um, there is some, you know, there's some wear on here. This is not, I wouldn't call this perfect. Fell out of my chair. Right there is a little, a little bit like down here. You can see a little bit. Of, um, I don't want to say paint loss. I would say, like, just from regular wear. Like, right there. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. You know, so this, that's just, it's not like, I mean, you see a little bit there, too, up on top. It's not like if you said it right here, you'd be like, oh, girl, no, there's all kinds of flaws. What, what do you want to start Why at? Why you got that on your car? Sorry, start, at, start the bidding at, or the offers at 10. And this is the number 401 from the next set of the um, pink and white stripe um, Pyrex bowls. Um, I forget. I think the, the rainbow ones are the different colors. But this is just the pink and white stripe. So I don't think it's called the rainbow stripe. Pink and white stripe. And it's the 401, which is the smallest bowl. It's the smallest one. I can give you a measurement. Um, it's Wait, like Virginia, five, you're, you're, Virginia you're at 14 or 13. Okay. Five now. and a half inches diameter in the opening. What, well, Mariah, you didn't you didn't mean $143. <laughs> oh, well, heck. <laughs> My so, husband's nightmare is at 25. I mean, you know, I always wanted a pink kitchen. It's not going to happen. I mean, you know, so I thought I was just happy to find something like this. I don't yeah, really find right. these great colors often 
And oh, I'm you know what? When I see like Jamie bidding on something that I have, then I'm like, I feel extra good because I know she knows her mid century, you know. <laughs> All right, so I see a lot of people typing out and Jamie mid-century mall. Okay, now Bar Bobby is at 30. Hey, Bobby, Mark Antonio. No, there's that fun name. How are the five Marks doing? <laughs> Only four of us know what that meant. Hi, Lucy. <laughs> Jamie's at 31. Oh yeah, you can put it like this and put the other one on top. Mm -hmm. For some Not reason, I keep, thinking, I keep thinking about Devo in the like. They were <laughs> yeah, the whip it good. Whip it, whip it good. That whip. <laughs> that was so popular when I was like a freshman or sophomore in high school. You guys were probably in diapers. Shut up. All right. So Bobby, Jamie says she's out, and Bobby is at thirty-three dollars. So $33 is the price to beat going once, going twice, and sold to Bobby Mark Antonio for $33. Thank you, Bobby. And I have your information, so no need to send it. Thank you, Bobby. <clears throat> Okay, so in keeping up with the Beistel, even though I say Beistel, Beistel. Oh, no, I do. I know it's Beistel. Pixie, now, my, Pixie, whatever. Say what you want. Mm -hmm. to life, right? Live your life. Live your life. Uh, while mine is not as old as the Valentine's Day, it is from 1980, and I did not know that the Beistel company was from Shippensburg, Pennsylvania, but it is. And I know that because I found a new in package. Yep, tree top, and it is the wrong. It is by Stoll, which you can't. Well, you can kind of see with the glare. Yeah, I can see. But it. Look at her. Oh, I love that it. sweet girl with look the honeycomb dress. dress. Now, not only is this a, a, a honeycomb dress, but y'all, I don't know if you didn't know this. But this is some flame-proof tissue. A bunch <laughs> of lies over there. That Vistel Stannis flame-proof tissue. What's it when? I remember that. Oh, when? So yeah, I wouldn't have that. <laughs> take a lighter to it. Take a match. You're I good. It probably catch on fire. It's tissue. It's flame-proof tissue, y'all. <laughs> So I she's never her. been open. Look at her sweet face. Oh, Look at her little, those lashes. She looks like she's got stars in her eyes. She does. She's got her glitter wings, her glitter halo. But she's Michael, did you find that in that, that far away antique mall that somebody turned you on to? Why yeah. do I feel like that's where you found her? Am I wrong? No. Now, this was at a, a semi-local. Oh, okay. She, yeah, I've been there before. So, but she is, again, y'all, <laughs> she's flame proof tissue. The green is for the cone underneath her dress. So that way, if you put her on there, you're going to see green underneath the dress. So she has never been opened. She is sealed. She is fresh. She's fresh. She's fresh. She's flame proof and fresh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what more do you need from your angel? She's so cute. She got some extensions. So... <laughs> Brand new bicycle angel, flame proof tissue. She's going to be not on the right page. Oh, she's she going to be $20, wings, 1980. Well, she's, tw well, she's from 1980. She's $20, and she's going to be number 14. Number 14. She's good. Uh huh. Does she, she have a spring wings? angel? I mean, and that blue, the pink, the green. Everything is just perfect with her. And I love her hair. Oh, I mm -hmm. right. I see Peggy Hall. Get it, Peggy. I love it that she has long hair because they always seem to make those like just have short hair. Uh, yeah, I yeah. want to know if Peggy's going to bust this out or if she's going to display this in packaging. I want to know that, mm -hmm. Peggy. Let me know. I, I, I mean, I typically leave things in the packaging, but I would take that out. I, I mean, know. If you just too good to it, leave, right? You know what I mean? You. Ha I mean, why not? Yeah, I would take it out. 
I mean, since she's flame proof, go ahead and do that. Right? No. Okay. Fire up the candles and bust I, her out. I'm going to do an offer up. Okay. Alex, can you type yep. and start? Okay. So these are the really two, the two really good books. Uh, and you, you will get both of them in this offer. They're, now, the condition is not the greatest, you know, but they still, the, the artwork on them is amazing. First, there's hands. Uh, well, they're made by Lando Ham Series for Children. Um, the, there isn't a copyright date on the inside, but the date that is written is 1912 Ooh. on the inside, September 1912. And there is various writing, and it's Carrie Ewing from Thomas, Lori, I don't know, by Elizabeth. There's lots of writing. I think it's been passed, passed it down. But it is, this one's Han, Hans Anderson's Fairy Tales. Ugh. Michael, get a proxy person for you. Look at her. Ooh. She's naked and she's coming out of the flower. Ooh, she's naked? As we do. Yeah, she bloomed. So this one <laughs> on the inside cover here, you can see that the, the bind, it's starting to come out of the binding. I like the size of that one. I know. Well, they're both this size. They're both this I, size. I like that. Here's That's a story about the daisy. It's a storybook. Each page is illustrated. And, you know, this is Hans Christian Andersen. Oh, there's a little naked girl. Her name is, this story of her is Tom, Tom Elise. I've never heard of that. Mm -mm. But apparently she's naked in a lot. See, she she's living with this big giant frog. Wow. Alex, uh, this is Alex's nightmare right here. <laughs> a big giant frog. <laughs> and then and then in this other page, she's sitting on a branch of bug, <laughs> naked. She'll have no clothes. With cockroaches? I get. And then she's naked here with a big giant beaver. <laughs> <laughs> Misty, we said PG thirteen. Now you got to tell on the line. And now she's got close. Michael, like, you oh. got like five people saying they'll bid for you, so you need to. Michael will have to work that out with them. But then look, <laughs> she find, now she's naked again. Michael, oh, right you know she's got some. There's, there's this one. The spine is missing on this. All right, so and then there's this one. Oh, look at that. <laughs> He's great. So I am going to start these at $20. So we can go ahead as I'm describing this one. Again, the spine is missing on this. And it has a lot of writing on the inside there as well. Um, Henry Ewing. And again, September 1912. Michael, do you want Randy to bid for you? This one had like the first couple pages are missing. I, I just this is Grimm's fairy tale, but look at him. He's giving me life. He's so angry. Now, my <laughs> favorite story in here is the one of Hansel and Gretel, which is a very violent story. It is. It's like the one the the wife keeps saying, "You're a simpleton to the husband and the children." Then they go walking through the forest, and then they meet the witch, and the witch, you know, tricks them and tries to cook them and eat them. But look at the witch. Sue's at fifty one, and then they're sleeping. And the witch is going to go get them, and then you know how the story ends: is the witch gets pushed into the furnace <laughs> the little girl killed her <laughs> the i can imagine you reading so, these stories I know. Children. Oh, it, it's a, it is a very tragic story but i love these so much i almost kept this one because it i love really sound tragic i'm gonna tell you that <laughs> so, at 65 this is i think rumple stillskin and the, the first part of Rumpelstiltskin is missing. Let me see if there's any more. Sue's at 66. 
Misty, your delivery on that did not make it sound so. I mean, it sounded terrible, but not like Gen K's at seventy. The worst thing. It was more like, haha. <laughs> well, I mean, she said in here, the old witch is dead. <laughs> Zoo's out. Gen K. And we're all laughing. Was the last remaining at seventy-five. It says, and then this is the part that I don't understand. It says. They like, what does it say? It said, gosh darn it. The pages are sticking to my feet. As he sprang out like a bird out of his cage when the door is open. And they were so glad that they fell upon each other's neck and kissed each other over and over again. Oh. oh. They're oh. probably sister. Oh. Wow. Well, that took a turn. And now there was nothing to fear because they went to the witch's house where in every corner were caskets full of pearls and precious stones. These are better than pebbles. Caskets full? Casket. Well, like jewelry caskets. Okay. And then and then the mom the mom dies somehow. Like the the wicked stepmom is dead. And it says he had not had one happy hour since the, he the children had left in the forest and his wife was dead. Oh. That's, all, that's all we know. All right. Yeah. So the Gen last K is at 75. Is at 75. Sue was out. So I think you're ready, Misty. All right, so yeah. Going once. <laughs> oh, me. Going twice. Sold to Jen K. Let me write this down for $75. Thank you, Jen. Yeah, these are really good. And they're not ones that you would find. No. <laughs> Misty gave Gretel girl power. <laughs> we girls yeah, those were meant to get your kids in line. Like, if you don't do this, right. you're going to die. Right. Like, Jamie said she was traumatized by a different version of The Little Mermaid. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, we used to, like, you know how when your kids were little and you were like, you would tell them that you were going to call Santa Claus? We used to tell our son that we were going to call E.T., and he was so scared of E.T. Rachel was scared of E.T. And he's like, no, don't call E.T. I'll be good. <laughs> Rachel did not want to go to my mom's house because she was afraid she was going to make her watch E.T. again. Really? <laughs> yes. That's hilarious. That, and, that, and they're the same age, uh, you know, give or take a year. Gotcha. Shit. All right. My next thing is I have another set of mugs. But there's only three of these. They're beautiful. They're hands painted. So we have some. What are those? Blueberries, blackberries, blackberries, poison berries, and then Ooh, they're signed here. And they even painted the bottom. Ooh, wow! So you can tip your mug. You can see. I've the never seen that. Never. So we have. see this one. Neat shape too. I like that. This one's Ooh, magnolias. The this style is very Austrian. And there's that signature. This one's not signed or marked on the bottom, but and this one's a different shape, but it's still signed by the same person. Oh, that beautiful! So is that handle the same though? Uh, those are so pretty. Oh no, it's yeah. not. Huh? Um, but it's just more beautiful florals. I'm a sucker for yeah. florals. I love them. So yeah. the set of these three signed, hand painted floral spring delightful mugs. It's twenty two dollars and it's number five. That's a price, y'all. That's a deal. I love them. Those are really pretty. Mm -hmm. Help me out so I don't get in trouble with Aaron and want to keep them. <laughs> um, <laughs> need more mugs? Don't you need more mugs? Okay, I see. Um, my, I don't see any. My, my Marna. Marna. Marna Spratt. Wait, no, I see Cindy Timeless Treasures. What? I see I Cindy see Timeless Treasures. Okay. So I'm going to refresh my device. Let me refresh. Oh, what's wrong? Live chat. I see Cindy J Timeless Treasures. What do you guys see? So if you see Cindy as well. All right. I Cindy. see Cindy. Okay, Cindy is the, okay, so it's Cindy J, Timeless Treasures for number five. Thank you. Um, when I say Bo, you say Ho. Bo. 
Oh. That's right. So I got my boho bag here. Oh, I love it so much. It's blue velvet. Yes, you can sing. And look at the, the embellishments on here are like you find something different every time you look at this thing. It is. I can it's smell patchouli from here. Yeah, <laughs> you sure can. Oh my God. Yes. <laughs> look at this. Oh, look at it. And the best part is the back side. Ah! Oh. Look at that fringe. Oh, I love it. And that denim pocket. Oh, mm. I love it so much. Yeah, this is so good to me. It's very gypsy. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And then, so it has this clasp here. And again, like the decorating on this clasp, then there's like something on the inside here. So you've got like a little pocket on the inside. It's not, I know the post office is trying to come to my house. This post is, oh Lord, Jermaine, where are you when I need you? This guy can't even turn around a vehicle. I'm, I don't know what they're doing. They keep going in circles. Oh, no, um, it makes them all crazy. Yeah. It's by, it's called Jazu Blue. Jazu Blue. I don't know. Something like that. Jazu Blue. That's that okay. French there. Jazu Blue. So the inside is all just one, like, how do I even try to show where it? Does it hat? <laughs> it's not, it's, yeah, you know, I could get it. I look like Elmer Flood in that one. <laughs> um, so this, like, if you had like your bad thing, you know, they have all these like Etsy, no, Ipsy, Ipsy, like when you go to Goodwill, you will find Ipsy bags for days. They're just the cute little bags, they usually sell them for 99 or $1.99. And you can put all your things in bags so you could, you don't have to have compartments like some of the purses. But put right. your things in little bags and then when you have a purse like this, you're good. Okay? And it's got a long strap. It is, I mean, I look, I can't even tell you how gorgeous this thing is. It's $20 and it's number 35. $20, number 35. I'm surprised that's manufactured. I thought for sure you were going to say it was handmade. I know. I, it probably I, I, is handmade. That's just their label. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it, and the the lab, the denim pocket. Because the label it, looks like it's hand sewn on. Yeah. I'm, I just love it so much. It's just, and it's also, Ooh. yeah, it does look very sewn up, like hand sewn. But see on here, it's, oh, I didn't even flip it over. Oh, Merry Christmas, Annalise. Love Auntie Lou, 2016. I'm going to leave that in. Oh. <laughs> All oh. right. I see Leanne Hoffers at 35. All right, Leanne. I don't, I'm not familiar with you. So please make sure to send me your information. Thank you. Okay. So the next thing that I have, I'm going to do an offer up on it. Um, it's here by popular demand. Okay, we're going to start this offer up at $30. This is an antique item. Ooh. This is a clam broth. Oh, it is, is not milk hazel? glass. This is oh. your barber's oh. bottle. It is the witch hazel. Okay. So you're talking early 1900s. It's hand blown. It is. Yes. So you do have a ponsel. This is not molded. Again, it's that clam broth, so it's not that opaque milk glass. You do see some light. What is that? Semi-translucent? Transparent? It's clam broth. We're starting at $30. $30, $30. is the offer. Y'all, the lettering is intact. Like, oh, that is so on point. You do have some wear to the silver band, but otherwise... It is at 30 this is in such good condition. It is insane that the paint held up this well. Like, again, this is an early 1900s piece. It yeah, was for a barber. It at one time did have a stopper. I'm going to assume it did have a cork stopper and then it had a glass topper. 
the cork probably rotted out and then they just had the glass they either fell or they just threw it away. It is seven inches tall. So yeah, good for Halloween, good for year round if you like the macabre. I would probably display this year round if I was gonna keep it. I just, there's only two type of the red lettering. There's another one where it's a little bit, um, it's thicker, they're closer together. I like this one a little bit better to be honest with you. There's one other one where it has a black lettering where it's more of a script. I'm calling this a Gothic style yeah. font. I just, ooh, it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. And you could put like black flowers for Halloween. Those are the oh, really wanted to do one now. Those are the old English letters, like old E, yes. old English letters. Alex would know. Google, <laughs> this is at $43. Oh, I want a piece of dry ice on the inside so mm -hmm. like that smoke comes out. Keep it spooky. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's no it's chips. Black there's and no red. cracks. It says witch, and it looks like a beaker. It screams like super awesome Halloween decor to me. Oh, for sure. But you know, mm -hmm. I'm interesting weird stuff, so I'd have it out all year long. I would I would have it all year. Oh, uh, Lesta, yeah. hey Lesta, Lesta's at forty eight. Come on, Lesta. Remember when we get I to this, we're gonna go at five dollar increments. Dude's at forty nine. I'm just so happy that this red, look, I was at the thrift store. They brought this out for me before they set it on the shelf. That's nice. They were, I know, right? They said, are you interested in this? Does I it glow? Oh, I, um, I don't think clam broth glows, does it? Mm -hmm. Alex would know. There's all types of colors of glass that glow. You might want to try. Yeah. Well, I'll go get the flashlight. Wait, Can, Susan, I'm going to put it down. Okay. okay. We'll, I'll be right back, you guys. Sue's at 60. We're looking for the next offer. It will be $65. Lesta is out. So he's going to check and see if it glows. Because we all want to know, right? We all want mm -hmm. to know if it glows. Yeah, if, you, know. if you ever found one. In the I didn't know. No. No. So it's just, it's not. I didn't think right. clam broth. So did. we're at Sue Golombeski at $60 going once. So you can put some of those fairy lights in there, and that was glowing. Oh, you know, oh, I to make it glow, you know. Twice. And so, oh, to to Sue. Sue. congratulations, Sue. That's, That's awesome. That was great. Awesome. Love it. Mm -hmm. Well, I am going from something very oh. awesome. To oh, something, please. I mean, that's still awesome. This is one thing, and I have two of them. So the first two people that will type in their number will, you know, get to purchase. They're exactly the same. Oh, Misty, why do you do these things? Okay, I didn't take the, the tag off. They're exactly the same, and they are these equestrian ribbons. It's not picking up. This is purple, which I think meant supreme. I, I don't quite know my my ribbons, but I think that purple was like the highest. I don't know. Maybe I'm. Maybe it's the royal, royal, royal. royal. Mm -hmm. um, and this is from, and it has the horse here. And there's two of them. They're exactly the same. They're from awesome. the exact same year, I believe. Yes, they're both from spring 1974. Ooh. This one says. The Bayside Junior Women's Women's Club Charity Horse Show. That color is really good. It's like an indigo almost. That's how I see it. And then spring 1974. And then on the back, it has the little, they both have the little clip where you can just clip them. You can like um, iron this to make it flat. But a lot of people, blue ribbon is the highest. Okay. Grand champion. Well, what, isn't it Grand Champion the highest? I'm confused. But anyway, they these are really nice, and I have two of them. They are $15 each. The first two people to type in number 30 will be the purchaser. Purple is seventh? Really? Huh. Well, you know, you know um, Tarnished Treasures, Karina? She mm -hmm. does her 
assemblages and she'll use like for mm -hmm. Halloween and stuff, those kinds of ribbons. It looks so cool. Yeah. I, a lot of people use these in decor, like a lot of decor. Mm -hmm. Purple is usually participation. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe they made that it pretty so, so that they won't feel so bad. <laughs> Rebecca says it depends on the animal that you're showing or what you're doing, what the oh, ribbon okay. colors mean. So that I think I think what happens is, is when you talk about horse showing, it depends on the kind of horse show. Like if you're at the county fair, yeah, county fair blue is the highest. But when you are actually in professional horse shows right. where you've got classically trained horses that are bred for showing, you do go above blue. So it depends on what this show was for as to what ranking your ribbon would be. Well, that's good to know. I never fancy. We learned something new today. We sure did. All right. And that has been equestrian talk with Michael. <laughs> <laughs> Who knew? He knows. Michael. <laughs> oh, look oh. she got. Oh, your fairy lamb. Is this going to be an offer up? Yes, ma'am. It's going to start at $15. <laughs> you know what I noticed about this is that on the edge, this whole edge looks like hearts. Aww, it oh, it does. does. Doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Oh, my gosh. So this doesn't have, like, hold on. Let me feel the rim again. Any chips or cracks or anything like that. It's like, um, it looks like a thousand bubbles. Angela's at 25. Bubbles. It looks like a clear hot thousand eyes that or a thousand eyes angel sorry a thousand eyes something like that um that's an, on antique glasses and when yeah. you look at them they're like goblets and they're have all these bubbles and like I said it's called a thousand eyes but when you look at them you can see <laughs> even more of them and it, that's Ooh. why it's called that you can like see even more like of your reflection and it's crazy but that's what this reminds me of minus the hearts. Okay, the price to be is forty dollars. <clears throat> Cheryl is at forty dollars. Dolores, oh, this one's gonna get lit. Oh, you wish you could see it lit. Um. Okay, one second, babe. Oh, oh he, he is he is sneaking playing Gabriel's new video game. Oh, I do that before Gabriel gets home. So Pamela and Angel are out. Dolores is at forty six dollars. Forty six dollars is the offer to eat. Alex is fetching a can. I got it right now. Everybody else is out. Okay, so Dol out. they Cheryl might be young once they see that sparkle. Yeah. Yeah. I'll wait till they everyone can. Oh, pretty. Mm -hmm. uh, right. On your hand, you can huh? see that there it is. You, yeah, yeah, there, there it is. is. Need a red candle for the hearts. Oh, yeah. Well, and the flame is very low because I just lit it once it gets going. Right. All right. So Dolores is at $46 going once, going twice. And sold ooh, to Dolores for forty six dollars. All right. The nice thing about those clear ones, though, too, is that they're you can keep them out all year round. They're not like, you know, they don't. They're not necessarily for any one particular, you know, holiday. All right, Dolores, yeah. that's number two, and I'll write you down. Thank you so much. Okay, you guys. I'm going but I'm about to get fancy on y'all. I have what I have found out through um Katie at Vintage and Vinyl. She put the message in my con in the comments when I hauled these. And so now I know that they are they are called booby. Boobies? Booby <laughs> The clear with the they are the green. Uh -huh. Ooh. And Boopy, cordial, wine goblets. It's a set of four. And they are, let me just go through them all because I, I know I've touched them and built them up and all that stuff. But like, you see, this bottom part is this beautiful, like, dotted look, you know? 
Got this little nubbin right here. In case you didn't know, Michelle, because you were gone last week, Aaron has changed the name of goblets to gobblers. Oh, okay. Now, gobblers. Gobblers. Okay, no. <laughs> I'm all for a gobbler or two. I'm telling you. So, um, there. What is that little bit of something on there? Just needs to be life. That's what's on there. Yeah. Uh, no, no, um, no cuts. No, uh, cuts. <laughs> <laughs> There's this little bump right here. It's like a just a, a manufacturer, like just a extra defect or like a. Yeah, it's like it's it just like has this little bump, but it's not a chip or crack. And it has the the same bump on here, actually. They're on all of them. All of them have the little bump. It's saying my email doesn't exist. That's interesting. So they are all in good condition. They are beautiful with this green. They are cordial wine goblets. goblets. Are you doing this as an offer up or one price? One price. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. Why are, are people asking? No, no. I just wondered because I was going to type um, it to start. Yep, so um, all four I'm doing for $30, and that will be number 40, four zero, for, for $30, number 40. I love that color. It's really good. Oh. It's very good. Or just a Friday night, exactly. All right, see Rebecca Ood. All right, I got you, Rebecca. Thank you, Misty. How do you have my email spelled in the banner? Is it chapter two Co? vintage? No, just chapter two vintage at gmail dot com. Hmm. Because they were telling me before that the email down below or something isn't right. Let me look. It, maybe it's in my. It, maybe it's in the uh, round ball around the bottom, back. like that. It might be in the description. Wrong, maybe. I'll yeah, fix it's it. Just chapter two, like the words vintage. Chapter two vintage at gmail dot com. Yeah. Okay. Good. Sorry. <laughs> me. Me. Okay. See, paying attention to the chat, not the... <laughs> All right, from green to red, and by red, I mean red wear. We have got us a five and a half inch little boxer. Oh, Wait. So again, he is red wear, right? Red clay, high glaze, no chips, no cracks. He may have some crazing, but again, because he's red wear, I can't really tell. <laughs> really good condition. Again, he's a little five and a half inch bulldog in red wear. He is going to be just $15. And it's going to be number 17. For a little red wear bulldog. Look at him. Boxer. Boxer. Yeah. This dog that's red wear. <laughs> <laughs> It's like a partial Bella. <laughs> it, I, I did think of Bella, actually. My, my, I, I cannot say your name. It, like, it doesn't come out. My Myrna. 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 Sorry. That's Myrna. another classic. Myrna, I love your name, girl. I was trying to tell Misty how to spell something before, and I was like, forget it. You can't spell anyway, girl. <laughs> she got my email right today. I did. I did. I didn't get Alex and Brian, but I got Michael. Michael. No. <laughs> it was a trade off. It was a trade off. <laughs> All right. I have an offer up. So, Alex, can you type in start for me? Mm -hmm. And and my offer up is this pretty, pretty piece of uranium glass. Now, I bought these fairy lights. They are UV fairy lights. That's good. So you can you can they get work. your hands on. Um, now I didn't realize that I ordered five thousand. I wish they came in a smaller 
Sujimahiki, a smaller bundle like my regular ones. But, you know, if you want to use them to display your uranium glass, you can. Um, and they have different settings. But How magical. I know. Isn't it fun? It uh, awesome. Virginia, this does not have the lid, unfortunately. Dad just found this. It does not have the lid. But there aren't any, there isn't any damage on it otherwise. I'm going to do it as an offer up. I'm going to start it at $15. Look at that. Ooh, so good for Halloween. Those lights are mm -hmm. so good with that little sparkle. I know. Kind of I love that in your yeah. window. And like, oh. this, these, so I do a, like a, one of those um, antique um, fishing floats and put it right on top, and you can have a stand for a crystal ball. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, you you could you could use a cloche on it. You could even put it like this. You have Cheryl's mm -hmm. throw it. And put well, I'll use my Liz Retro Snowman. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, that's good. And you can have them stagger in like different sizes with different pieces of your glasses, like if you have different ones. Mm -hmm. Denise is at 16. Oh. Shirley's at twenty-five. Uh, oh, D Misty wants to buy my her my dad for her mom. <laughs> you, my dad <laughs> is set in his ways. Trust me, I live with him, <laughs> or he lives with me. He is Shirley's something. Shirley's at twenty-five. <laughs> so 25. Funny. I told him that people wanted to see him in the videos, and he was like, "No, no, they don't. Yeah, they do." All right, so I am seeing Shirley Pearl at twenty-five dollars. Mm -hmm. So let's go ahead and count down. Twenty-five going once. Kind of like a diamond shape. Everybody wants to go. Oh, I see oh, twenty-six. Oh, sure. Oh. Shirley's at thirty. So thirty. Everybody's showing Kenny love. <laughs> yeah, he's 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 something else. Let me tell oh, you. Yes. I, I I can I can uh, attest it's to it. Else. Okay, <laughs> Amy's at twenty or no? Shirley's at thirty. Thirty. Oh, they would all be jealous. I have uh, I had I believe I have hugged Kenny. Amy <laughs> is out. Okay, Amy is out. So I see Shirley Pearl at thirty going once, going twice, and sold to Shirley Pearl for $30. Thank you, Shirley. Thank you, thank you. Now, I haven't Miss Shirley around lately. I hope you're doing okay, Miss Shirley. Oh, me. Okay. So, <laughs> sorry, I should have waited. Alex's email is scrolling down below. It's wrong in the description. I will fix it when this video goes up, but it is just chapter2vintage at gmail.com. Okay, what do I have? What do I have for you? I have a mermaid. Ooh. Oh, I have a mermaid. She's going to start at $15. She is an offer up. And I will show her as you gawk at her nakedness. But she's a little mermaid. Look at oh, her. She got her little hat box in there. It's got some like tissue while she tries on her little hat and she's got oh. a little mirror. Oh my gosh. She's and adorable. Hat box and she's sitting on a seashell. She's so cute. That is, look, I've look, never look, seen it's that one. Alex. Misty. Look it's at her. Her little boobies are hanging out. Misty. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? Put her on. Put her shirt on, little baby Misty. Yeah. You're hanging oh, out. Oh my goodness. There's a little mark down there. Ah, oh, that's. Oh, God. Uh, I love that. She's so cute. But I didn't see any, like, chips or anything broken. Blue Flamingo great. is at 22. Oh. Pamela is at 25. Oh, it's so cute. Is there any markings on the bottom? Yeah, it's a number. Well, it says KW80031. So I'm not sure who that like belongs to. Usually you can tell if it's like a left in number or right. a go. But I can't. Where is Nikki Olds? She needs to buy that. She got my mermaids. <laughs> 
think he owns Let me tell you what, if you want something to, like vintage ceramic mermaids, chalkware mermaids, porcelain mermaids, it doesn't matter. Those things, yeah. ooh, mm -hmm. that's a good one. Yes. That's adorable. Oh my gosh. I love her. She got a little rose on her bow. A heart made wise is saying it is left in. I'm surprised oh. if Jeffrey's watching, Jeffrey doesn't love a mermaid. <sighs> Jeffrey likes mermaids. All right. So I see Pamela. It, Pamela 13 is at 35. <laughs> Maybe he doesn't like her because her boobies are out. <laughs> he doesn't like boobies. He's like, little baby Misty and her boobies. No, I don't want oh, to. He says, yuck, <laughs> ew. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, she her eyes are. Mm, she's right? a good one. Yeah. Good, good, good one. Yeah, and you can tell the the paint on the face. You know, like sometimes it's like slopped on there, mm -hmm. but that one it's really nice. She's got the flushed little cheeks and Bree says it's left one. Yeah, that's what you guys were saying. Yeah, always look for the body blushing. If you're talking about a figurine, look for those. <laughs> look for that body blushing, and you know you've got a good one. From 1955. Ooh. Thank Jeffrey, you for that information. I've never seen her before, so if I see her mm -hmm. again, now I know. Looky, looky, who popped up. Yeah, He's 45. Jeffrey, you're going to start good. liking mermaids. So Jean is out. So Pamela, 13, is at $45. So Pamela at $45 going once. Oh, Rose is at 46. Okay. Oh, that's still a deal. Mm, so good. Pamela's at 49. I just like how they added the detail. Like she's got her mirror and she's got the tissue from the hat being in there. Yeah, it's good. I, that's neat. Mm -hmm. And you got that gold detail. Okay, mm -hmm. so Sue is now in at 50. So now, oh wait, no, I'm sorry. Rose was first. Rose was first at 50. Now Pamela's at 55. So yeah, now we're going where the next offer up needs to be 60. We're at $5 increments right now. Sue, the next offer up will be $60. Once we reach 50, we go to $5 increments. Okay, so Rose is at 60. So we need 65. $65 is the price to beat. Mm -hmm. It's so cute. And it's the fact that there's no damage because usually you'll find. I know. I couldn't it. find. Or and that it's not like some of that gold wouldn't. You'd think that would be more worn off. Someone just took really good so care of it. Mm -hmm. Sue Golombeski's at $70. $70. Yeah. So it's nineteen fifty-five dollars left in. Wow. That All right. Was an amazing score. Rose says she's out. So we have $70 going once. $70 going twice. And sold. All right. Sold All right. to Sue Golombeski for $70. All right, Miss Sue, that's number nine. Thank you so much. I'll write your name down. Awesome. Okay, this next item is, it's been put together. <laughs> um, and this is going to be um, an offer up. Okay, let me type this Starting in. Starting at 10. Um, this is, this frame, I don't think is anything special. You can see that, you know, some of the colors coming off. Are, oh, it's she's like, so cute. The framing is chipping a little bit, but um it's been like kind of like a shadow box, but in a frame. Mm -hmm. And let me read, I'm gonna put it close, but I'm gonna read to you what it says on the back here. And also see how this is. Oh, neat. Yeah, so I'm gonna read this, what it says. It says, um, and it's in that old lady, cool, you know, <laughs> handwriting. <laughs> um, it says, these, these are scrapbook pictures by Emmanuel. Go up a little, Michelle. What? Put it up a little bit. Oh, I'm sorry. There you go. There you go. Okay. These are scrapbook pictures by Emmanuel Heller of Vienna, Vienna, Austria. The little pictures are no longer manufactured. Antique ornaments were made of these pictures. 
So it's kind of like a, a piece of history. And it's got like inside here is like this polka dotted material. And then around it is this lace. And then there's the cutout of the girl and then the flowers and then the name Emmanuel Heller and it says Vienna. That's and then really like, cool. do you see it? Like, aren't those wings around her so pretty too? They are. That's is very a Victorian Valentine's Day. I don't even know what a Gibson girl is. I'm in the dark with that. So we started it at ten dollars. Well, I this inside. I don't know. This is not an easy frame to take apart. Like, I have we no. Have idea. I would say that it's just been put in there together. Somebody asked if there were more pictures. Diane asked if there were more pictures inside. But I don't think so. I think it's just this. I mean, it, it's because they put that, you know, fabric around it. Uh, I need to clean the, the window. Yeah, so it's definitely Valentine's art. It's definitely mm -hmm. worth $10. My goodness gracious. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah, just the angel alone is the $10. I mean. Yeah. Just the, yeah, yeah. it would be amazing. It, that's, an, that's angel's antique. Ephemera. All right. Oh, Carol Verbeer set ten dollars. Yeah, I think that that's great, Carol. I think that she's cute. So ten, okay, so Nanette. So Bria, Bria is our our local historian. Mm -hmm. Oh, Bria, look at those I dates. Appreciate this research. Uh, Bria said that the artist lived from eight seventeen eighty to eighteen sixty four. Wow. So Nanette is at 15. I'm sorry, I'm moving it the wrong way. There. <laughs> you're fine now. Yeah, oh, hi, Liz. Liz is at 16. Is that yeah. real lace? Oh, Liz is going to hang it Yeah, up. it's real. That's real lace. There, and, and I think that fabric is, uh, behind it is like a fabric with um, looks like oh pink God. polka dots or something. Like it's pink with polka dots. It reminds me of like a bathrobe I would have had when I was a little girl. Oh, so they probably use like vintage lace and silk and yeah. Mm -hmm. She's Very cool. Carol's at twenty dollars. Oh, Elizabeth, you could hang her up with the with the tea. Yeah, Elizabeth. Elizabeth bought some artwork for me of some portraits. She's gonna hang that up. She's so cute. Look at that. Look at her hair. Look at the wings. I love the wings. All right. So Sue is out. I like the wings and I love how her face has that blush. I do too. All right. So we have Liz Bergen Pines at $25 going once. How wide is it, Michelle? Do you know? I can tell you in just a hot minute. Let's get the, let's see before because I know. It's, I would say, like a little over 10 inches, just okay. over 10 inches, or at 10 inches. Oh, oh, you know what? It'd be easier if I did it on the back. <laughs> <laughs> um, Just under 10 inches. <laughs> okay. So $25 going once. I like oh. seven and a half. Perfecting pearls. $26. Liz is at 28. There's your handwritten information that adds to the value i think i think so too I the desirability of it. there's anything handwritten provenance. i don't even care about this frame so much i mean even though it's getting chipped it's like that almost adds the character it kind of feels like it should be kind of like a, a um an enamel frame but i don't know what do i know i like the chipping on it Liz at $28 going once, $28 going twice, and sold to Liz. Yay. $28. Hey, Liz. Liz, I finally, Liz is always like, you don't really usually have my first thing. <laughs> Doesn't like you so much. And Liz bought something for me now. Yay. <laughs> She likes me. She really likes me. <laughs> and you thought it was an act all this time. See, <laughs> Michelle, I told you you were being paranoid. <laughs> <laughs> all right. 
So the next item I have up is mm, 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 it's a plenty sprinkle oh, bottle. So cute. So of course he's a laundry sprinkler. And the thing is, I don't know that this thing was ever used. There's no rust, there's no pitting. The it's probably aluminum. Still... Yeah, it is. So there wouldn't be any rust. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> aluminum doesn't rust? No. Oh, well, it, I don't, there's no calcium buildup. You there you go. go. Like, nice I thing. can see through that. The cork is all intact. There's no breakage to the cork. He still fits in there snugly. I mean, if you really wanted to use it, I guess you could, but you know. So you got your yellow and green glazes on there. He is unmarked, but he is, of course, sprinkle plenty or plenty sprinkle. I He's bought plenty going... for her birthday, I think, last year. Yep. Oh, oh really? Uh huh. I knew, I knew, I knew somebody. Had him yep. That's so there's so no cute. chips to him. There's no cracks to him whatsoever. He's That's in great amazing for condition. Very cute that. for spring, great for a laundry room. You can water your plants you in your house. <laughs> That's good. Your, a little your garden plants. display. Your air plants. Well, yeah. I, I soak my air plants. You should Just give your plants a bath in water. <laughs> but you could put your, um, you know, sprinkle your succulents. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's cute. Oh, Karen said memories. Mom ironed, I sprinkled. Sprinkled. <laughs> oh, so, so he's been what a is a laundry sprinkler. Well, you would, you know how now we have spray starch? They didn't have spray starch. Right. You would use the laundry for the steam and it yeah. would help flatten out your. Because now you just push the button and the water setting. comes out. Back then, there was no button to push. We actually have my grandmother's Seven Up bottle. That yeah. She now some people would use bottles, but you, if you were fancy, cool. you have the look at that little feller. You yeah. Bought, you bought a specific sprinkler, so he'll be um, just twenty dollars, and it's going to be number twenty. Ooh, twenty, 20 for twenty. Twenty mm -hmm. for twenty. Twenty for twenty. I see Dolores Cowie. Get it, Dolores. Dolores like Cowie. Mm -hmm. All right. I get back here. I have a cat, a heavy cat. It's Ooh. so heavy. And it's a oh. black and white striped cat. I and it's, it. it's made out of some sort of stone. It feels like marbly, but it's some sort of stone. I. I don't know if it's soapstone. I, I, I don't know they're made in Africa. I see the that looks fancy. Yeah, it, it and it's heavy. Yeah. It weighs. Hey, I'll tell you how much it weighs in just a second. But he's striped and the stripes are carved in. So it's not painted. It's etched in. I need that cat. And <laughs> he weighs. Ugh. He weighs one pound eleven ounces, so he'll weigh two pounds when he shipped. With everything. what? Um, does anybody know? You know what? That Laura from um, um, out east, west, out west. Laura Caldwell, the one that's with uh, Selena. Recycle oh, life. Yeah, she always she's always talking about these cats. Is it? And there's some or some artist Lisa, somebody I think it is. And there's a cat that she's always talking about. Well, this uh, this is not signed. I wish it was. It's not signed mm -hmm. at all on the bottom. It's just like a bunch of scrape marks. Every time I see a cat, I'm like, oh, is this something I need to know about? <laughs> <laughs> and the ears, there's no chips on him anywhere. He's just very regal. He, Lisa Larson. Lisa Larson, that's it. I got to write that down. I don't know what this is. I'm going to write it down, too, so I can research that, but. All right, so he is going to be twenty dollars. Mm, so cool, and he is number twenty six. Yeah, the he is stone. It's a weapon. It's a weapon. Someone's knocking on my door. Okay, she got her weapon in hand. Got your weapon. <laughs> right. Get him with that cat, girl. I'm not gonna answer it. Okay, I see Linda Clark. 
Yep, that's what I see. Okay, gotcha, Linda. <laughs> uh, what do I have? I think I'm next, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. I have another weapon. Ooh. Not a cat, though. This. Oh. This pink, mm -hmm. gray, bulbous. Who is bulbous? This, this part. It's also but Golden Girls again. It's got a lot of wear on the bottom. Well, Alex is down there in the Florida, so you know she picked up. Right? Mm -hmm. She's like, thank you for very, being like, a friend. <laughs> Anyways, this is probably about maybe 10 inches tall. Um, ceramic, got a pretty glazed, great for spring and Valentine's and Easter's and all that, those things coming up. This guy is $16 and it's number 10. That white drip, it almost looks like it's lace. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah little... some crazy and stuff because like it is an older piece, so it's been around a minute. It sure is pretty. Anybody? It reminds me of one of those old mini mercury glass ornaments. Cindy Tunstall. No, I Wait. think the lady oh. that was your number. Oh, Mary Cox. Okay. All right, Mary, oh, that's number 10. Oh, I'll write you down. Someone said, Pamela says that they have I know. snow in Arizona? Uh, oh, she's up in the mountain, then. It must be near Flagstaff. That's why I would never go to that area, because still. Like, uh -oh. no. All right, Mary Cox, got it. Oh, no. no. Right. I would love that. I would love that. What, snow? Six feet of snow. Hey, that's as tall as I am, nearly. No, I don't think you can, Tony. Um, I got uh some. I'm get. I I can knock a person out too. Oh, <laughs> I'm giving somebody a peek at my next item. What? 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 Nope. One at a time, people. <laughs> Bam. Bam. I have this that before. thing is huge. I have sold. One that had more of like a checked, like a Harlequin, like a red and gold check. Um, I think that I sold locally years ago and it was way roached compared to this. Now, you guys, I will say we have talked about the barkeeper's friend here and there. And I only like recent months really started using it. And that thing worked some magic. Yep, I love that stuff. Holy cow. This one had a little bit on it. The next one had a whole lot more. If you would see my video from, I guess it came out today, the haul. Um, and, oh, it came. It's like, no, that thing did it wonders on the next piece mostly. But, yeah, now there's no rust on here now. So, um let me just talk about this. It does have a little. Are you, are you doing an offer up? Oh no. Oh, okay. Oh, no, 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 no. I would just. Oh. I just want to make sure that I'm doing start. No, I'm done with the offer up. Okay. Um, there's a little. Uh, there you can see, little scratch there. There's two. There's like one there and one there, and then there's um. Well, yeah, here on the side here, there's some scratches. But honestly, when you look at it from far away, if you see those scratches, it just looks like maybe a little bit of pollen flying off the flower or something. The stems, yeah. Yeah, you know, it doesn't look so bad. And um, everything else is like, I mean, this thing is smooth. It's in really good shape. The back has a little bit of, you know, scratching. But that's because everybody sets it down on the bottom, right? So if you were to use this, I mean, I don't know. I don't know why you really couldn't, to be honest, unless the, you know, because it's it's good, it's clean, it really is, it feels good, and um, unless you want to hang it up, you could probably use those little um, those three M command things now, have yeah. things that you hang things with real easily. I mean, there's a little weight to it, but you know, it's 19 inches in diameter. But see it? It says, come and get it. He's got some brats on the grill. He's got a salad right here. You see the salad? 
Mm-hmm. Like wedges of tomato, some I cucumber, little lettuce, little fork thing. And then he's got his salt and pepper in effect. Haha, <laughs> see what I did there? <laughs> and, uh, there's your little salt and pepper. And he's got his little his little poker. Mm-hmm. And uh, he's he's manning the grill. He's the grill master. And he's telling you to come and get it. It'll be great for Father's Day. This mm-hmm. is so good. This is really good. Yeah, if you've got a like summer it. decor, like vintage summer decor, you know, because like barbecues and stuff. Yeah. You know? Really and, cute. And if somebody's into like, mid-century, this is <laughs> mid-century all day long. Yep. So yeah. Um, and like I said, there's some scratches, you know, obviously, especially here on the the surface points. But the honestly, look at this. Look at the, the rim of this. Just I mean, I got this thing clean as a whistle. So this is going to be $22, and it's number 33. $22, number 33. A man salad. Hello. I'm, sign me up. No, don't sign me up. I don't want a man salad. I got my own. <laughs> I see. D, the thrill of the thrift. She's going to put that in her head. Wow, well, a bunch of people liked that. Well, stay tuned, people. Hmm. Okay. Thank you. There's Dee. that salad right there. Dee's wanting a man salad. <laughs> Dee's wanting a man. Dee's wanting a man salad. I want a man. No, we don't want man salad. Don't you want man meat? <laughs> <laughs> uh, when you're on a diet, you can't have man meat. I'm sorry. Sometimes man. I have no filter, and that just like popped in my head because it had meat on it too. So sorry. Carry on, Michael. I know I had a brat. Carry on, Michael. Misty, wait. Misty, you did you start you on top with for that man bear? salad? You're the man salad. Mm-hmm. <laughs> He's a man salad. Mm-hmm. There's just, you know, there's too much to say. That way, yeah. if I say nothing, then I'm safe. Because gotcha. PG-13. <laughs> Are you PG-13. Really- are you, are you really? <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> the next thing that we have is <laughs> these are Sexton from 1969, made in the USA. I know, right? I was <laughs> like, nice segue. <laughs> I I'm literally had like these, these right. were in my hand. You can't do that to me. <laughs> So they are marked Sexton 19. It's upside down, but it is there, USA. And they're both marked. Let's see if I can get, yeah, that one. That one we got the right side up. Okay. So they are, let's get this in the right, I don't know. They're out. Ooh. Ooh. That 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 mod lifestyle there. So your smaller owl, let me move my pen. Your smaller owl, this one, is approximately 10 inches. That's a really your good one. larger owl is approximately 14 inches. So both of their hooks are still intact, so you can pop them up on the wall, no problem. Oh, wow. All right. There is some paint wear, especially to the green. Put this. Hey, Misty, you want to take D off the marquee there or whatever oh. you call it? Sorry. Sorry. So again, ugh, you do have some paint loss on both of them, but uh, you know, vintage life that adds to the character lets you know that they are older. Yeah, that's good though. Mm-hmm. So you're gonna get the set again. It's Sexton from 1969. <laughs> <laughs> um, you're gonna get the set, and it's gonna be thirty dollars. And it's going to be number 18 for the set. Who? That's a good price. It is a good price. They're kind of judgy, though, don't you think? I don't yeah. know. This one, the bigger one, seems a little bit judgier to me for some reason. <laughs> the other one seems like, I, I, didn't, I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I swear. Oh, you know why it is? Because his eyelids are halfway down. That's why he's judgier. And this one isn't. His eye, eyes are completely open. <laughs> Karen Radford said, "Michael, Michael, 
Todd gives good face, Vogue. Yeah. Side eye, I got the side eye on lock. Look. Sexy Hooters. Now, what <laughs> did I see? Cindy Tunstall. I still don't Thank see you, Cindy. Oh, they would be good for St. Patrick's Day. Yeah. Hi, Miss June. Oh, okay. He does look a little good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to move on, Michael, just to see how long he, he how longer he gets to be uncomfortable. <laughs> I love him. Okay, so next I have a lot of recipe books and you'll get them all for one price it's not an offer up it's just a a single priced item so you'll get all of these recipe books i have the town crier recipe book mm -hmm. and i like mm -hmm. that it was like the color it's like a teal with navy blue and orange and i think that this is the one that had i don't know maybe this is not one of them had like and it wasn't this one. oh yeah it is no good <laughs> no good. Too rich. So don't you don't want to make the heavenly fudge cake. It's too rich. What is it? Heavenly fudge cake. Heavenly fudge cake. And then she's got like click <laughs> marks next to things that she loves. Uh, this is what I'm talking about. I love the notes. I do too. Um, and I like the how the pages have like mm -hmm. cinnamon la clover leaf rolls or cinnamon rolls. Anyway, um, and I'm trying to see where this one was from. Um, sounds like yeah town crier it was it was um the midland flower milling company in kansas city missouri so there's that one <laughs> and then you'll get up to date with phil filigas this is a little pamphlet and it's got a oh. little girl in the sprinkler Ooh, um, and, it, and then it has helpful hints on the back Oh, those were the days um, running through the sprinkler. Keep hamburgers from shrinking by making a finger size hole in the middle of each patty before placing it on the skillet. Doing what now? Yeah. What do you have, Michelle? It's got recipes in it. It's a little pamphlet. You heard her. She said what she said. I heard I don't know if I did. Then we have another <laughs> one. From, and this one has a <laughs> farmer. A little boy farmer and his sheep. Um, this one also has hints, and one of the, one of them says peanut butter. Dry peanut butter can be moistened. There's that word we all love. Can be oh. moistened by adding a little peanut oil, olive oil, or salad oil mixed thoroughly. I don't know why you need to do that, but I want to know who discovered that. According to Miss Lind, in the any day of Sunday time. Oh, I agree. Dry. I agree. Then you get the guide to gold medal Wondra Way mm. flower, and it's got ooh recipes in it and pictures. And then Hawaiian pineapple recipe, Yum. and this one is older. This one was 1928. Ooh, mm -hmm. that's an amazing condition for 1928. I know. Wow. This is a uh, double cookies. It's just a recipe. And over Are you saying this is a lot, Miss. Yes, Kate? all of it together. Oh God, help me. Candied orange peel, but it's just one price. Favorite chicken dishes. This looks disgusting. Wait, what was that about the orange peel? No. Look at that. I don't like like a boiled chicken. Ew. This oh. is this is 1955. Wait, I'm getting to some good ones here. Maybe I should do. Should I do this as an offer yeah. up? Okay. I mean, you might even need to split it up. No, I'm going to yeah. do it as an offer up. I still have several more, and I haven't gotten to the best ones yet. So let's start it at $15. Yeah. $15. You'll get all of them. This one is the Metropolitan Cookbook. Oh, fancy one. And I like yeah. that one that's on the back. Mm hmm And it this one is uh 19 <laughs> has to be 1940 something or 19, maybe not. I don't know. I would say it's 1930s. It has a little bit of wear to it, but oh my gosh, she looked someone made 
Coconut. Is that got the ambrosia salad recipe? Uh -huh. <laughs> I like that when it has the wear to the pages. And I then, have a book like that that I've I've got my like food stains proven, on. Proven recipes showing the uses of three great products of corn. And look at the little Indian maiden as a uh, corn. Maize. <laughs> Mazola. But this one has really nice maize. graphics <laughs> on the inside. Jamie's at 22. Yep, 22. And this one is copyright. Hi, Nate. I don't know. But look at the look at the graphics in that. Ah. Uh. And then Metropolitan Cookbook. This one's a little bit newer. Ooh, than that's a good one. one. But it's the same, same concept. Then this one doesn't have a cover. But I like the graphics that were on the inside. Oh my mm -hmm. gosh. <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't have a cover. And it has pictures. This one's my favorite one. And have fun with a cabin still gay 90s cook cookout. Yes. Oh, that was nice. And let's have some booze on your gay 90s cookout. And look at that basket. I know. Dolores oh. at 30 and Jamie's oh, out. Oh, that's good. Ooh, yeah. You can have um, golden fried chicken, a buttermilk biscuit. Here we go. Sift the flour. Roll the dough. You remember that song? Buttermilk no. biscuits. Oh, you do? No. Buttermilk biscuits. That's like a, an old rap. Not even a rap song. It's kind of a silly song. Ooh. Do you know? Oh, Love that's romantic. Comments. Do you remember the butter buttermilk biscuit song? You should put a post it on YouTube. YouTube. <laughs> Valentine's. Okay. Oh, okay. So Dolores is at thirty. Is that okay? So thirty dollars. Oh, look! It says let's cook out. I didn't even notice that. Oh, is anybody? Does anybody have an offer up? Yeah. Dolores is at thirty. Oh, Dolores, Dolores is, is at thirty. This dollar going. Thirty dollars going once. Thirty dollars going twice. Sold to what was it, Dolores? Cowie, yeah, or Bo Coey, like Bowie, Coey, Coey, Coey. All right, gotcha, Dolores. Thank you so much. And again, y'all, let me know if you have heard the buttermilk, buttermilk biscuit song. It's an old, I didn't know it, but old I song. Groove with you. Buttermilk biscuits here. Oh, we right. she's gonna have that stuck in her head. Look I am it all day. Okay. So I have a large paper Ooh. plate with a flower inside. Ooh. This one is, I, I don't think it's glass. That's really maybe cool. Maybe it is. Ooh. How heavy is it? Glass or acrylic? Um, It probably is a little over a pound. When she I don't think it would have dinged like that if it's acrylic. Mm. No, that's what I'm saying. I think it is glass. Yeah. But... So there's the front, and it has some, like, what's left over. Someone put some cork feet on there, but that's the back. It's a giant big one. This guy's $18, and it's number six. $18, number six. Thrift, you buy a Rolo printer. Rolo, Rolo, Rolo. I don't know if it's a dandelion. It uh, looks that, like what it, but it, it's too big. It kind of does look like one that's that that's spread out a little bit. Yeah, like they flattened it somehow or something. No, it doesn't it look, look like? like um is it an aster? No. What's the what number the, is it, Alex? It's number six. It's eighteen dollars. Eighteen dollars number six. It's I like that big cool bubble that's in there mm -hmm. from when they isn't there like a daisy that has like that shredded end looking kind of thing? It's a mom. Or it's a mom. I was a mom. Or it's a mom. A mom. Yep. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Mom. That's the all right. I think we think of homecoming okay, dance. You guys can move on. We'll come back to it. Love mom. Um Oh, hello. Uh, bam. Buttermilk biscuits. I have so another humongous tray. Tin tray. This one is to reflect 
winter that I am looking at right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Trust me. It's not nearly this beautiful. But this is a really nice tray. Um, it also came in red, but in the red one looks the red one looked Asian to me. You know, because like red and gold and black. But um, but this is just gorgeous, and I love these pine cones. Mm -hmm. I, I really like that branch. And I mean, this just prop it up. <laughs> and you can put a few like candles and stuff in front. I don't know. You do what you want to do, but I ain't trying to tell anybody. But I mean, or you know, serve it up. They, I cleaned this thing up so. Again, that barkeeper's friend was my bestie right now. I'll tell you that. They, I mean, look at the other, look at this. This is pristine. It's mm -hmm. so pretty. It's so clean. I can't even begin to tell you. Uh, I'm like, I'm, I'm just saying, go look, go watch that video and you'll see all the spots of rust got cleaned right up off of this thing. So, mm -hmm. it's so good. So good. I it's can just see it like, on a fireplace mantle as a backdrop with like pillar candles and stuff yes. around it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this is going to be $22 and it's number 36. It is. It's really pretty. That's gorgeous. Ivy millet. Yep, that's what I see. Make sure to send me your your information, Ivy. Thank you so much. Oh, okay. there's the salad. Oh. There's the man salad right there. <laughs> <laughs> Eat it up. All right. So the next thing that we have, I was not able to find this thing to save the life of me. And I feel like, uh, I still feel like I underpriced it, but it is a planter and it is, I'm calling it the Tomcat planter because I oh, very yeah. much feel like this is, it looks like it's Tom from yeah, Tom and Jerry. It does. When you said right? that, I, I was like, yes, it totally does. I've but never, you, ever, ever seen that before. Like, right? I He's what is like his body? It's so weird. It's got beautiful crazing, which is, of course, not going to pick up. But it is got gorgeous crazing. Look at the front of that. Let me see the Dude, bottom of it. It's unmarked. Hmm. Randy, girl, you have it. For the life of me, and I could not find it. There is, on this green stem, a little bit of paint loss. Uh, right there, if you can so see. Cute. But no chips, no cracks. Amazing condition, completely unmarked. Very clean. I don't know if they ever used it. Um, it's a great planner. I just, I love it. It's very animated. It's very stylized. Yeah, I like that it's really I animated. Just, yeah. Like I said, I, I feel like it is Tom from Tom it, and Jerry. It totally so I think you're going to get a really unique piece, to say the very least. <laughs> the man salad. Okay. Um, it's going to be it's $30. Wait, wait, wait. It's going to be what? Tomcat Planner is going to be $30. And it's going to be number 19. All right. Number 19. What were those bacon bits called, you guys? Bacon bits? Bacon Are they bits? called bacons? Oh, yes. Wow. They're yeah. good. You got to get a shirt that says, I am the man salad. Get the bacons. <laughs> bring BYOB. Bring your own bacon. Myrna, Myrna Spratt. <laughs> Thanks, Myrna. Appreciate it. <laughs> 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 Where am I at? Is that me? Michelle yeah. pee her pants over there. Yes. <laughs> pee her pants. All right. Who likes Valentine's Day? Or me. as my dad calls it, Valentine's Day. 
I have a 10. Now, this is from 1984. It isn't, you know. It's oh, vintage. we are graduated from high school. Oh, it's commemorative. Hey. I see where I was born. <laughs> hey, that's the new name for our group, the Man Salad and His Bake Hose. <laughs> oh, sounds like an indie band. <laughs> oh my god, I love that. The bake I like the bake hose. <laughs> I like just that, the bake hose. The bake hose. Okay. So here we go. This is from 198, like I said, 1984. It's very clean. Um, it says antique postcard graphs. <laughs> Ch oh, okay. it's from Ch uh, the chain in industries. So it's made in the USA, it says, but it has these nice little Valentine, almost like antique postcards. Mm -hmm. Very pretty. So you could definitely use it in a display. I like the top lid too. It looks like it would be a Hershey, you know, like her something that Hershey would have. I mean, I mean it probably had candy of some sort in it. Yeah. But it it or it could be a drum. Sometimes <laughs> things just happen. So yeah, do your buttermilk song. Yeah, buttermilk biscuits. Here, I oh God. I all need to. That's the you, name of our thing: buttermilk biscuits. Buttermilk biscuits. Ah. You can it all day. So mix a lot. Buttermilk biscuits. Okay, this tin buttermilk is biscuits and a side of man salad. <laughs> this but you got a side. is. Fourteen dollars, and it is number twenty-five. Oh. Fourteen dollars, number twenty-five. <sighs> <laughs> Michelle's a little crying. <laughs> I see Nettie. Nettie, thank you, Nettie. Now we go to Alex, chapter two, vintage. It's our last round. Yes, it's the is. last thing that I have other than my paperweight. But this is going to be a lot. So you get three items. It's going to be an offer up. It's my last one. Mm. Um, this is going to start at $15. So you get these two little chickies. Oh. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Misty. Oh. They got the, their little cardboard beaks or a little, like, this one looks like he had his face punched. Oh, They're those are so cute. cute. He's got, oh my they God. got his pipe cleaner legs. Oh. <laughs> they have their Walgreens 29 cent stickers. Oh. I love Wait, that. Walgreens? Is that old? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And then you'll get this guy. Oh. This is a paper egg. This guy fell asleep trying to fish, and these ducks oh. are going to come up and steal his fishies. And then inside it says um, container made in Western Germany. Mm -hmm. And then this random little like um, paper mache egg thingy or whatever was just in there. So I left it. It's a little oh, it's oh, the bear. And a baby. Oh, the baby. That's cute. Wait, wait, Rebecca, we're still at 20. We could, you could set that on an egg, stand, an egg cup. Just yeah. mm -hmm. So you get. Like I said, you get the the egg. It's about the size of my hand. Eighteen ninety two. It's that old. Walgreens came up as eighteen ninety two. Wow, I, yeah, I knew it was old. And then, so mm -hmm. their bodies are shaped out of like they look like eggs, you know. And they're like I love silk. them. They're, so cute. they're like the silk that like Christmas ornaments. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, I and there's, them. There, there's their little butts. I'm sure they were made in Japan. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. If you took off the Walgreens sticker, probably, but I would leave. Don't do that. Walgreens no. Alone. Mm -hmm. But they look, they got their little hats on. Little I love those hats. hats. <laughs> oh my gosh. I love those. I love that pink one. Ah. Look at their little girl. girl. Walgreens was a pharmacist. We're just learning all kinds of facts today. Oh, you. You turned to the the four or four the man, man salad and his bake hose. <laughs> find out all kinds of interesting facts. I love it that we're bake hose. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> okay. So you get the egg. I mean, I got nothing against being a buttermilk biscuit, but you know. 
you know. I mean, I'll eat both. I'm <laughs> saying it's bacon. Lord knows I got the other. biscuit to... <laughs> They're so cute. All right. I see Shirley is at 35. All right. But Rebecca's still in it. She hasn't set out. All right. Yeah, I remember Eckerd's oh, Manhattan Katie. Theory where they all turned into CVS. Mm -hmm. Eckerd's was sold and it was turned into CVS here. Eckerd's was, I, when I lived in Tennessee, I, they had Eckerd. Okay, Shirley is out and Rebecca's at $38. Okay. I knew Walgreens was in Chicago. I pass it all the time when I'm in Chicago. Oh, now we got LaDonna. LaDonna's being a sniper oh. today. She's oh. oh, LaDonna. Yes, Rebecca oh. Hooks was in Indiana. I remember Hooks. Hooks Drugstore. Man Salad and the Bake Hose. Yes, Angel. <laughs> I was there when Man Salad and the Bake Hose launched. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I hear you. No f bombs, babe. Babe, what's your mouth, babe? <laughs> hey, babe, Ron. All right, I see Ladonna at forty. All right, you can call it if you want. Hey, Ladonna, going once. Ladonna, going twice. Sold to Ladonna. At forty dollars. All right. Nice. That is hold on, Ladonna. That's number number eight, Ladonna. Number eight, and I will write oh. you down. Thank you so very much. Okay. My uh, final item is this oh. mid-century chafing dish. See, I see fondue. And immediately pop melted cheese. That's a horrible word, chafing. <laughs> it's three pieces. And look at this knob. Can we talk about this knob? It's the best part. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Grab it. Salad and a, and a bacon of bagels. Ah, yes. Oh, you know what you can put in here? You can put yourself a little salad, a little man salad. You could. You don't have to light it. <laughs> oh, we like our man salads on fire. <laughs> well, here's the thing. Uh, I will tell you, it might be more for looks than anything because there is a lot of wear. Um, you can see through, if you see what I'm saying, you can see through right here and down here and down here. Like when I look through here, I see right here is a hole. Right here, and up here, and here. You need some, some little mendits. holes. Mendits. You know what oh. I see people. Oh, oh, yeah, you need some mendits. I have some. Mendits. But you sent me. So, right. So you could totally put a pl take the lid off of it and just use that silver <coughs> dish at, in the stand as a take mm -hmm. the lid off of it and put a plant, yep. a potted plant in that. Mm hmm. Okay. How cool is this? I mean, and then you put the sterno, which I never remember, but I remember today. Hello. I am back on my game, people. And uh, you put that down here, light it up. I mean, you can still salad on fire. <laughs> and you know those, um, yes. you can always find another use. You could, use, you could find, like you said, use this for a plant. Okay, and you could still use this part. You could probably find something like this. You could use the lid as a hat. Mm hmm Yeah. Oui, oui. Parlez-vous français? Parlez-vous français? That's that 1950s sci-fi look right there. What are you saying my name is in, in uh, French? Je suis. Je suis. Je m'appelle. Je m'appelle. Je m'appelle. Je suis Michel. Wait, wait. Let me do this right. Je suis Michel. Oh, yeah. And if you had two of them, you could make them symbols. Oh, geez. And you're going to do a little girl. You're a fan. <laughs> it's definitely multi purpose. You just got to know how to work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
So anyway, <laughs> this beautiful piece of, you know, and I don't know what this handle and the knob are plastic or not plastic. What's the right word? They're not Bakelite. I'm pretty sure they're not Bakelite now because they have that like um, grain look in them. You know what I'm talking about? Anyway. It's not metal. You know. Wood. It handles wood, probably. Yeah, I don't. It probably is wood. Some kind of plastic. It's a plastic. Oh. So, so, you the nub. so is the nubbin. <laughs> I can't stop. Once you grab this knob, you'll understand. $25. And it's number 32. It's $25, number 32. It don't smell like Bakelite. It doesn't <laughs> smell like ammonia. If you rub it, rub it real good. good. Rub it, handle. Rub it, Michelle, rub it. <laughs> and then smell it. And then smell it. I always try to do that. And I can never... I guess I never rub it hard enough. <laughs> I'm just saying, it just burns my hand a little. All right. No offers on that? Uh, I, uh, okay, you guys, what if, it, what if I did it for 20? For 20? 20, $20 at number 32? I wasn't sure about that price, so... Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Are we good? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. So my last item is an offer up. Um, okay. This is probably my most ambitious project. Oh. And um, yeah, here it is. Oh God! Oh, it's good. Mm -hmm. I want it. Mm -hmm. You did so good on that one. Uh, Look at that! Ah! Okay, so uh, it is going to be an offer up. It's uh, starting at fifty dollars, so we're going to start them at fifty. This is the Empire Blow Mold Cookie Jar. I found him without his hat, and I decided to make him a hat. That hat um, is going to consist of a lot of mercury. You have three miniature mercury picks here. Oh, to kind I of, think you're just killing me. One mercury pick at a time. And then you've got four of the larger mercury picks at, at the top. This is what I'm going to say. If oh you were my to measure God. this from base to the very tip of the mercury, it is 23 and a half inches. So it is almost two and a half feet or two feet. That said, in order to help with shipping, I'm going to remove these picks. They're going to come packaged separately in the same box. And that's going to reduce the height down to 16 inches. This is styrofoam underneath here, and this is the good styrofoam. So when you when I pull this out, what you will do is you're going to lightly press them into the top. Y'all can do this, it's no big deal. I have faith, okay? You have Wait, seven look the, Santa Clauses. Look at the mittens, colors of that Santa's mittens. The green. Oh, and look at that blue ball. Side. Look at that blue ball. You got two blue balls on there. <laughs> Here is your back. I kind of left the back a little understated with the holly, the little birthday cake angel. Oh, my. Oh, I want it so bad, but I can't not just take my <laughs> gosh today. <laughs> so, like I said, you're going to pull this one out. You're going to pull this out. This is, I wrap these together so the mercury picks are going to come as one spike and then the sequence spike are going to come out. 
when I ship them. Randy is at $92. That's the price to beat. We Randy. do have the mica candy cane with additional mercury beads on them. Norma Jacobs at $95. You have drunk flocked Santa. I call him drunk. I know a lot of people call him happy or dancing Santa. He's drunk to me. But I think in total, there's seven different Santa Clauses, including so, the bull uh, mold. Like Norma, uh, Randy, we need to go a hundred because we're at five dollar increments. This is an amazing condition. He's in amazing condition, but I'm Dolores really proud Dolores of the way this came. One hundred dollars. Rand Dolores was first at one hundred. Randy girl. So you've got a little plastic. It would be one hundred and five dollars. Would be the next offer up. This is your Ross Bro plastic Santa. You have wooden Santa, ceramic shaker Santa. Randy, Randy Girls at 105. Dolores is at $120. Oh. A little, little Santa. We don't stand a chance, Daryl. Randy Heim, Randy Girls at 125. Dolores is at 130. My phone is warning me that it's about to die. <laughs> yeah, my phone is really. We started off at 100%. I keep my phone. There you have know, reindeer on the side. I don't know if you can see it, but I put All his right. reindeer coming up. Randy Girl's at 135. Now, um, Michael, I was talking to him one day and he just said, you know, I just feel like making Christmas. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is there a little I, it part makes me happy? It makes me happy to do this. Like, ugh, the you know, I have seen a lot of people. You're not the only one, Michael, that are keeping Christmas going. Like, uh, like Michael has a Christmas shelf he kept going this year. Mm -hmm. I've, heard some, I've heard a lot of different in, in a lot of different. Um, places. I've heard a lot of people say, I'm keeping this decoration up this year, like Christmas. I don't care if it's up all year round. I don't know what it is, but people are really like appreciating it. All right. Uh, so we're, we're at, is... we're at $135. Yeah. The weight's only one pound, six ounces. So again, this, I left this hollow. I didn't put a weight in it. It's really structurally sound. So your weight <laughs> is here. But yeah, so it's not going to be too bad. I really don't. One hundred and thirty-five dollars going right. to the girl going well, once. A hundred and thirty-five dollars going twice. Uh, and oh, let me type it in. Sold to right. Randy girl. Oh, Randy. One hundred and thirty-five dollars. Congratulations, right. Randy. Thank you. That's awesome. That's awesome, Michael. Ooh, wee. I love Thanks, that. Randy. Okay. Where am I at? I ask myself that question every day. Where am I at? What am I doing? Okay. Same. My last item is also an offer up, and it is the highly requested. I've gotten so many emails about this girl. Oh, I wanted to tell you about that. It's I rice. I rice. Yep. She still has her tag. Yep. Mm -hmm. She mm -hmm. has still has her fragrance, although they're not very fragrant anymore. Um, oh. Hope Puri. And Puri. Yeah, pot Puri. Let me get down here. Okay, so I'm going to do this as an offer up. I'm going to start it at twenty dollars, and. She is in excellent condition. Her petals on her hat are in great condition. She has her tag there, if, you, if it'll focus, on the she bottom. All original. She is all yeah. original. She has all of her pieces, even down to the, the ribbon that's on the sachet. Um, her eyelashes are intact. That like never happens. I know. I like her fingers, one of them's always missing. Mm -hmm. She does have some crazing on her collar. Well, and on her face, but you know, we all have a little bit of crazing as we get older. Mm -hmm. 
She got Melanie got it at 15. In Japan. So she's kind of got the kissy lips, but they're turned up. Like she's kind of like yeah. kissy lips, but not gonna happen I today. No, she got the mm -hmm. yeah. lips. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. She's good. She she has no chips or flaws anywhere on her. So I know I know somebody that um collects eye rice. It's like uh, it's kind of like, like she has a vanity, and it's all eye rice. Items. It says eye rice flowers from faraway lands. And yes, I have to enhance your to enhance your lingerie. Karen Dondelinger is at sixty. Oh, Pamela thirteen sixty five. Remember five dollar. Thank you, Rebecca. Five dollar increments. Yeah, Nicole seventy. There's Nicole. What's so up? Yeah, she takes a little this? problem. Though. You put this in your lingerie drawer, girl, Ooh. and then you can use her to put your flower that your man will give you after you have nice smelling lingerie. <laughs> I don't need to go shopping. <laughs> and then you. Uh -huh. yeah. I thought we were going on to the dentist now. Oh, is that that a, I hate the dentist. Nobody can broken out. <laughs> you go to the dentist for a variety of reasons. Think about it. Going to the dentist is the most horrible right. thing ever. I am seeing Nicole Olds at 70. Okay, Nicole Olds at 70 going once. Nicole at 70 going twice. And sold to Nikki Olds for $70. Nice. Thank you. Awesome. That's gorgeous. She's yeah. she's really good. She's really good. Mm -hmm. Good job, Dad. Dad found her. Really awesome. good job. Okay. He killed it that day. He got a lot of good stuff. So now, is everybody done? Yeah. yeah. I'm done. I just didn't sell my paperweight. Yeah, I have one thing that I didn't sell either. Yeah, I didn't sell something either. All right. So I have this for 18 but if anyone's interested in it for like $14, it's number six. $14, number six. Okay, June thrifted in a pear tree. Okay, thank you, June. Number six, I'll write your name down. I have my horse ribbons. They're from 1974. Oh, nobody bought those? No, they're purple. They, I'm going to mark them down to uh, $12 each. The first two people that type in number 30. <laughs> Please highlight Nate's comment. I didn't see it. Number 30. <laughs> I don't see it. Nate said a local dentist just got busted as a drug dealer here. So shocked. I've been going to him for years. Never knew he was a dentist. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. <laughs> All right. So these are number 30, $12 each. Okay, Michelle. Hi. I have this lovely mid-century chafing dish but the problem with it is that the chafing the pan has seen a better day um it's got some really really good wear in there you would need some mendits <laughs> but you could still use this and this or you could use this for something else or if you have the mid-century look, this just gives you that vibe. This just put up on your shelf. And there we go. <laughs> um, it's not heavy at all. And I know it looks like it would be, you know, kind of a lot to ship. Um, I could do 15 on this. And that would be number 32. 15, number 32. It's Alex, still like really the What's that? I was. Did Alex see the chat? Oh, yeah. yeah. Got it. Okay. Did you fix it? What? 
there seems to be a discrepancy in the paperweight. Oh. No, I saw someone asking for my email. Um... Oh, and these were $12. My equestrian girls maybe aren't watching today. What, what is the discrepancy? I'm looking. Uh, that the first person to put number six was Carol Verbeerst. But June claimed it at the price of 14 first. Oh. oh, yeah, that's right. That oh. is how I normally do it. Yeah. I didn't pay attention because I heard her name. Oh, that is correct. You do have to put the correct number. Yeah. Miss oh, June. sorry, June. I'm sorry about that. I heard the name, so I just yeah. I, I Yeah, well, and I just saw her type that in, so my brain just went there. So Carol Verbe Verbeer got number six. Number six, yes. Sorry, oh, June. I fixed it. Next time, we'll have more paperwork. Yeah. All right. Well, this was fun. Yeah. Always is. Always is. Make sure, guys, that you do send us an email right away, but you will not get in. I mean, Alex is going to start invoicing tomorrow um, from her sale on Sunday and the sale today. I'm having a live sale tomorrow at 1 o'clock Eastern. I have, I'm going to do 40 items. Um, I have some vintage, I have a lot of art glass animals. So if you saw my video with the art glass animals, they're going to be in tomorrow's live sale. Um, and I do have a lot more vintage Valentines that I'm going to be selling too. So thank you guys so very much. Make sure that you do send us all emails. I will correct Alex's email in the, in the thing when it goes up. Um, Miss what, yeah. Um, I just want to say I have been doing a lot of um, shipping from my last sale because of my week off. And so I'm, I still have, if I can combine with that, with my last sale, if I have any sales from today that I can combine with that, I will rather than waiting till Thursday because I still have to, like, I'm trying to finish that tonight. And then a lot of people are asking me about the Kelly sale stuff. That is stuff I'm trying to fit in amongst my real life because I have to ship everything and we end up selling 140 items. So, yeah, it's a lot. Just be patient. Um, Dolores, you should get an email from us. I mean, with by this weekend. You know, so we just, we just need, the main thing is we need your, we need your information. We don't have your information, then we can't send you your invoice. Right. Um, so anyway, uh, yeah, I guess that's, that's it. <laughs> Does anybody Thanks have? Thanks for having us, Misty. Yeah, Thank right, you yeah. everybody for coming. Next week we will be on Michelle's channel. Oh. <laughs> Next week we'll be on Michelle's channel. And, um, can I just, Josie, this is, that's what I just kind of said. I'm still working on tonight. I need to finish from my last sale. My last sale was right before the Kelly sale. And then I had something happen and then I had a week off and then this. So I am still, I have a, a little chunk of my last sale stuff still left. So yeah. you are probably in that little chunk. And so I will probably get that done tonight. Okay. I'm sorry. I, it's hard to, I've gotten back to people, but then it's hard to keep getting back to everybody because I'm like, it's just a lot. <laughs> it was a lot. It was a lot. It was a lot on top of something else on top of something else. So, right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching and always Again, put your ideas for our sale name in the down in the comments. Mm -hmm. And um, thank you, thank you, <laughs> and we'll see you next time, Thanks, everybody. Bye, Bye Bakos. Bye, Bakos. Bye, Bye. 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 Bye.